Hoi Nichiwa. Hoi Nichiwa. Hello everybody. Okay. So I have heard a lot about this game, but I've actually never played it myself. I don't know what to expect. Um, is the music good? It's very loud. It's like incredibly loud. Beware of backseaters. I'll keep my eye out. If I see like two people backseating in like the span of like, uh, I don't know, uh, like 30, 30 seconds or so, like, <laughs> If I see a whole bunch of people start backseating um, in like short span of time, I'll just go ahead and like hide chat so I don't see it. Because um, I feel that, or I was told that this is like a really good puzzle game, and then like having it spoiled would be would be not cool. So yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Uh, alright chat. Um, I did have chicken. <laughs> Surprisingly. For lunch, I did have chicken. Um, I had, like, a drumstick left over, so I, I ate that one chicken, and I was like, ah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure where we're supposed to be, but, uh, I'll, I'll sit in this corner for now, and if I need to move, I will. But, Chan, <clears throat> let us go. This is Return of the Obradin. Is is all I, I don't know. Yeah. Yo ho, yar har, me hardies, and and so on and so forth. Naris, thank you so much for the super chat. In this game, you shall examine dead corpses for scrumptious lore. Ooh. Okie dokie. All right, Chan. Uh, I may actually hang on. Let me. I don't know why, but the games that we've been playing, the sensitivity has been wild. So I wanted to drop my sensitivity down again. Um, there it's a little. Actually, not it's too. It's still too fast. It's a bit better now. Okay. Here we go. Yo ho! No fate solved. Begin. That's oh, cute. Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship Oradin. Built 1796, London. 800 tons, 18 feet draught. Captain W.R. Witterell, crew of 51 men, last voyage to Orient Cape, rendezvous unmet. Oh, lost vo last voyage to the Orient. There was supposed to be a rendezvous at the Cape, but that was unmet. Contact East India Company. Hmm. Honorable East India Company. Attention. Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims London Office. Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. <gasps> Ethan Sinyokoidi. Thank you for being the membership. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. It has returned. Falmouth, England. 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Ooh. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Shakira, thank you for the super chat. Have a lovely stream. Thank you. But they got around. Okay. Get your sea shanties ready. Yeah. Thank you for re-upping the membership, Adega. Ooh, box. All right. Oh, hand. Oh, wait, hold up. I should move myself to this side, I think. It looks like the thing's happening on the right side. Okay. So this is the Obradin, or at least what's left of it. Nice. What's my hand doing? Nice. Pet, pet, pet. Okay. 
Ah. Is that broken? That looks broken. Actually, it looks like repair was done on it. Ooh. Where are we? Oh, it's... <laughs> which is like out in the middle of the sea. Ooh. What's that? So we're part of the insurance claim? Yeah, color wasn't invented until much later. That's broken. Yeah, I saw the body there. We're gonna come by and visit the body later. I just wanted to do a quick check on the on the, the ship first. Very pretty. I've actually never been on a ship before. I want to though one of these days. Sorry to think this is the next Cari Pirates of the Caribbean. The little plugs are missing. That's so great to give for reaping the membership. All right, here's the body again. Ooh, nothing. Okay. How do I? I guess we check out some of the rooms first, then. Oh, there's my hand. Looks like bed, someone's quarters. <gasps> mm. Okay. <gasps> <It's too heavy. laughs> okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go help. Um, let's go help our friend. Okay. So how do we? <laughs> I I just realized we just left them there. Okay. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Okay. If it's too heavy for him, then. Oh. Fuck. Oh. D. Return of the Oberdin. A Catalog of Adventure and Tragedy, 1807. I trust that you now found yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expect this day had come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline as follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical, and I leave the discovery of its faith and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch and determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by the guaranteed post to the French office of affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter remains unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Oh, you, what? Oh my god. We have to fill up the entire book? 138 pa 35 pages. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, glossary. Chapter one, loose cargo. Oh wait, we should go read the about the crew first. <clears throat> the journey. Ooh. Okay, so we started here, and this was supposed to be the journey. We made one stop, made a turn. Not a turn. That was the cape that we were supposed to meet at, but they didn't make it over there. Something happened along this route, didn't it? Okay. Dick plans for the Oberdin. Ooh, oh my gosh, there's so much. <clears throat> Main deck. Uh, passenger cabins. Okay, so that was one of the passenger cabins. Like, captain's quarter. Underneath that is the gun deck. Uh, first, second, third, fourth, stewards, midshipmen. Called midshipmen because I'm guessing they literally stayed in the middle of the ship. Or lop deck. Huh. What was it, 51? 51 people? Cargo hole. Mm. 
Okay. Crew. <laughs> 60 people, okay. Oh my gosh. So six... Um, passenger, oh, so that's why. England, Austria, Poland, America, France, England, England, England. Formosa, India, Sweden, Wales, England, China, Persia, New Guinea. Wow. Sierra Leone, even. All right. Hmm. Sketches. Ooh. Oh my god, do we have to identify every single one of these people? But this isn't a photograph, these are sketches, so this is someone's like best interpretation of justice at sea. <laughs> okay, well I we can guess what happened to one of them. <laughs> we can figure out what happened to one of them, I suppose. ES. That's not Henry Evans. Who drew this picture then? Yes. Underway. Formosan royalty? Royalty. Huh. Yes. E S E S Edward Spratt, artist. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Fate. <gasps> ah, I see, I see. Okay, Edward Spratt, E S, artist, England. Something happened to him, and we need to figure out what happened. Was alive at the very least to document these three pictures: this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Let us continue. Chapter 1. Loose cargo. Cool. Absolutely nothing. On the cargo deck. Nice. Alright. Let's go figure out what happened. How do I... How do I get out of here? The end. No. Uh... Skip... Oh my god. Seriously? It's gonna take a while. Wait a minute. What was that? Hmm. Until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Okay. Is this a bookmark? Okay. Tab is closed book and Q is table of contents. Okay, tab. Ooh, what is that? Momentum mortem. Remember death. Oh. Thanks, mate. Just checking, just checking. All right. What am I drinking today? This is just water. Water for now. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. All right. Let's get away from it. Okay. Momentum mortem. Remember death. Remember death. What if we? So that's what happened to you. Oh. 
Must we kick it in before we take more than those shells? Ah, you. Must be the captain. The facial features are kind of hard to distinguish with this right now, but... Oh, this is so cool. Okay, wait, so I... Your outfit. Shirtless, but with the jacket on? Short hair. Oh, wait, hold up. <gasps> no! I haven't taken a look. <laughs> Is it timed? Hmm. Ah. The end? Part 1, Outside the Captain's Quarters Who is this? How did they die? Oh! Location of the corpse Others were present These three people were present Unknown That's the captain And you were here too Memories where this person can be navigated from here. This person... First memory, page 126. Huh. Bookmark memories when we appear, okay? So... Let us figure out the person who died. Unknown soulmate and unknown fate. First memory... Was here. Captain. Open the door. This person. X. His friend, partner, says kick it in, as we break it down and take more than those shells. Open the door unless, or else we will break it down and take more than your shells. The captain responds, you bastards may take exactly what I give you and kick the door open and shot. Who is this? How did they die? Three others are present. Three others? Oh, where are you hiding? Hmm. This unknown soul? This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. The blurring indicates you don't have yet sufficient information to determine their identity. Met an unknown fate. May be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their faces blur will be unproductive. Okay. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. We know they sh got shot. Oh. They're currently alive, axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten. Expired, <laughs> expired, um, fell, froze, killed, sword, knifed, poisoned, shot, speared, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart, torn up, torn apart, shot, arrow, cannon, gun, by the captain. At the very least, we know this much. We know that they were a crew, so not a passenger. We don't know who it was, but they were shot with the gun by the captain. That's as far as we can know. Can we go back? Hmm. Where was the third witness? Are you the third witness? Okay. <clears throat> Something happened here, but we have no idea. There's not enough information over here. Okay, you. Knife in hand, where are you going? Were you trying to get this way? Or this is this? Ah, uh, I'm not sure where you're going. We'll go check out the captain's cabin real quick. 
We don't know the names of these people, though. Hmm. Okay, so the door is here, and the captain is barricading this door, trying to hide something in there. Is there anything over here? Don't see anything. Can I open this door? No. I'm guessing we can't interact with the world unless we're in the real world. Maureen, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Congrats on surviving another trip around the, uh, the sun. Hmm. I can't walk through the people, so there's no way for me to go past into this area. I guess this person's death... This is as far as you were able to see before the moment you died. Huh? Wait a minute. Bullet. There it is. Huh. Yeah, I guess we don't have enough information with just this person. He died too soon. Like, I think this must have been like an... Like, died instantly because... His memory doesn't extend anywhere further beyond this. Let's go see if we can find another person to visit. <gasps> Wait. We can go here now? There's no way this is the captain. Could it be? Where are they? Must be in here someplace. Captain is dead, okay. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. No. Ooh. Okay, so you were the second person. Oh, you can see the body has like also progressed. Well, it's not there. Probably didn't see the bullet. So you were the person standing here. Your friend got shot. You came in here and you were trying to struggle and fight with the captain. Died right there the knife. At the very least, we can go ahead and write this one down. Okay, so inside the captain's quarters. Oh. We'll have more information once we're done with that. Where are they? Looking for multiple things. Objects, person... Inside the captain quarters. Locational corpse. Others are present. The same person that was outside. Two others are present. Okay, so the captain was the killer. This person, again, is here. So, let's, let's name them A, B, and then C for now. B was aware that C was present. A is dead at this point. We know how they died, so we can go ahead and say that they were killed? Knifed? I'm guessing that's a knife. Was knifed by the captain as well. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. They're at the bottom of the sea. Must be in here someplace. So we're probably looking for an object. An object. I think it's got to be an object. Where are they? Must be in here somewhere. Can't be like a person, right? I figured they would use pronouns like where. Where is she? Where are? Where is he? Where are? <sighs> what on earth? He is zoom. This is planned. 
This was planned. That's why B is B that's why B's memories before he died show C here because they were planning this. Yeah, you can't see. Oh no, you can. You can barely see. What were they trying to do? Captain doesn't look wounded here. It looks like he was almost stabbed, but not quite. Did drop his gun, though. Huh. Okay. So the plan was bust down the front door and have C go around the back. Came through here. They both... A and B both died, and C, so I'm guessing we'll be able to progress time a little forward. Let's see if we can find C's body, or the captain's body. I don't know how the fight turned out. There it is. Which... That doesn't look like the captain's body at all, actually. Swung down from here, came over here, and then managed to get inside... A cabin? Okay, there's B dying. That was B's girl. Came over here with the knife, managed to get a stab off on the captain, but then... A single whack to the head. Wait, no, there's some blood here. The captain was stabbed. Do you see the... Yeah, right there, the blood. Captain was hurt a little bit by the stab, but then... Is this enough to kill him? Okay, nothing outside. Do you have any memory, C, of... Ah, <gasps> this door. Who is this? We don't know who they are, but they got clubbed, stabbed, hmm. struck. Struck sounds like the right thing. Wait, what? <laughs> Hooves, tail, wing, what? Hmm. Speared. Uh, usually, you would say that spear is like getting stabbed. Um, I don't know. It looks like he was just whacked. Fell, killed, knife. Axed, clubbed. I guess clubbed would be the closest because that's what the the action is. But it was using a spear. I'll we'll pick it we'll pick clubbed for now because that, that feels like the most accurate description of the action that ended up to killing him regardless of the weapon or implement used clubbed in the head by the captain again hmm. one other person was present and that would be the captain but now that we know what c saw ha huh, c saw c was able to see this door open Huh. Who are you? Hmm? Who's that? Sleeping? Okay, can't open the... Okay. Wanna get more information. It was just these three. It doesn't look like there's anyone else who was part of the team. Or whatever this plan was. Alright, let's pop out. And...
Let's investigate. Were you just ill? Why is it all piled up like that? Okay, let's go check him out. Mm. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon. Forgive me for everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. So that's like a ooh. At least he got his heart. Yeah. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Abigail, Abigail. My love? Crew member or a passenger? Let's look at the list. I've already seen back scene chats, uh, back scene comments in chat, so I stopped looking at chat like the last five minutes already. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the captain. This face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Use the book and pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearance, and activities. Use the books. Um... Individual character laws to find out clues about names, relationships, appearances, and role. Okay. There were 60 people on the ship when it left to England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Wait, how do I know if partial information is enough to make the deduction? I meant it is only revealed through process of elimination. Okay, so this is the captain. Um, suicide with a gun. Once we're complete, <laughs> this may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Oh, correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Cool. Okay, no one else was present. No one else was present, so Abigail was already dead. She was already dead. Um, okay, where's the crew? Abigail, Abigail, Abigail. Must be a passenger. It can't be. Abigail, Hoska, Witterell. Witterell? What? <gasps> Robert Witterell. What? Is there another Witterell? There's no other literal. Is there a Hoskip? Maybe... Hoskip, 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 Hoskip. <clears throat> there, there wouldn't... There, hmm. There's like one name, two names. These are all... Miss Jane Bird. Abigail's the only one with the three name. So it's gotta be a husket, right? 
Why else would they have a middle name? William Hoskin. Your brother, my best friend, first mate. That would make sense. I shot him. It's gotta be him, right? Shot gun by Robert Woodrow. Which means we can go back here. <gasps> it is. His face is unblurred now. William Hoskett, first mate, shot with the gun by Captain Robert Robert. Robert Witterell. Three others are present. So there's the captain. First mate. His face is blurred. We don't know enough information to identify him or him. Hmm. Okay. The only other corpse that we have to look at must be you. Let's head back to the present and find Abigail's corpse and see what Abigail knows. <clears throat> ah, the flipping. Uh, my eyeballs. Four dead at this point. We're were they the only survivors at this point? Hmm. Abigail, show me what happened to you. Have you lost your mind? He's below deck. What are you doing here? What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, what the heck? Wait, if this is your memory, you died here. And they only... What? Oh my god. Alright. Doom. It makes sense that they're working backwards in time. So even before you reach, reach it to the Canary Islands, the corpse was moved post mortem. Yeah, she had died already then. Who is this or they? Her face is unblurred, so we know who they are, or we have enough information. This is Abigail. Um, Abigail was. Um, okay, well, I guess that, that explains why, um, the option for Eaton is there. Ah, struck. Okay, not struck, not that. I guess crushed would be the best. Crushed by the rigging. Not the beast. Crushed by the rigging. By falling ringing. Oh, there, it auto completed. Okay, okay. Nice. Oh. We got it. Oh. Perfect.
One, two, three, three fates. We have to get enough fates corrected to go all the way around. What happens here on this section? Huh. Okay, let's... <laughs> I think our insurance, um, insurance guy is a little bit scared about what happened here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Action? What does this mean? Oh, show me. Show me where he died. Right here. Oh. Wait, you're not a... This gentleman's corpse does not exist in our timeline. He died here and the corpse was long gone by the time we arrived. Which is why he looks so blurred out like this. This is where this man died. Compared to the other corpses which are still here because... They had died and remained on the ship. When the ship got over here. But your body was never found, was it? That's why you only have a memory. Let's go learn. There's 10 people there, so we're just gonna go worth of them one by one. Okay, I think that's our guy. That's, oh, that, yeah, that's definitely our guy. Um, he tried. Stab the tentacle, and then, oh! That's when your memories end. Okay. Probably just died from shock. <gasps> oh. Well, that, I mean... Receiving pose. Throwing pose. Wait, what's... What's in there? A deer? Sheep? What was that? Sorry, I'm gonna pour myself some more water real quick. My throat's gonna dry for some reason. <clears throat> I think I might need to go bring up my humidifier here again. Alright, who is this? We don't know the name, but they did get... Uh... Torn apart. By... A... Beast... I guess would be the best way to put it. Not, not even like muffled screaming. Hmm. Twelve others were present. Huh. Wait. What? Blurry, blurry, blurry. Not blurry. Did we miss a uh, blurry blurry? Not blurry. Blurry blurry? What? Wait a minute, hold up. Wait. Uh, go back to the doom 
escape bargain no the end what did you say wait hold up wait why can't i find um abigail where's hers where's abigail glossary let's go find abigail hmm Oh no, that's not it. Uh, the crew? Abigail, show me Abigail. Crushed rigging. Okay, we got, that's right. We can't go to her page for some reason. So we, huh? Ooh, good cut, good cut. Oh! What is that? <gasps> Wait, what's special about this corpse? What? Yeah, nothing else except for that corpse over there. Hey, what's special with this one? Um, just a recommendation. If you guys are also annoyed at all the backseaters, just close chat. You don't have to, well, you don't have to, like, read chat. It's, it's, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> I've stopped looking at chat for the last, like, hour already. So just go ahead and close it. It's fine. Here, I'll, I'll help out a little bit. We'll do it that way. I know, I know um, there are people out there, but I've stopped looking at chat and I would recommend if it bothers you guys as well to just go ahead and, and turn that off as well. Huh. Why is my clock doing that? Show me. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Cute. What are you doing this little fancy dance for? What do you mean? Over there. Okay, wait. I want to go back and check um, Abigail real quick. Because she mentioned something that I forgot. The Doom. Okay, part 8 of it. What did you say here? Martin. Where's the captain? Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. Where is he? He's below deck. Come here. Martin, where is the captain? Martin must be to her husband, right? Shouting Martin. My husband. You lost your mind. Okay. Martin. Martin. Let's go to the Doom and then. Is this Martin? No, this can't be Martin, right? No, because they were dead by the time... Yeah, they were dead. They were dead by the time we got there. So, she's looking for Martin. Hmm. You guys look like passengers. Huh. others were present. Why why does the game assume that we know know this person? Did unknown soul? Okay. Martin. There's a Mark and Parrot. And then Hmm. 
Hmm. Third mate from England? Would that be the third mate? No, right? This looks like the third mate. Look at the outfit. Have you lost your mind? He's below deck. I'm not sure if Martin is the husband or not. Wait a minute, hold up. Are these... Okay, this is just water. Never mind. I thought they were bodies. <laughs> Oop. Uh, sorry, Jet. Wait, give me just a moment. There we go. <clears throat> oh, you're not going to have a good time with that. Oh, your arm is already... Yeah, that's a, that's a painful position to be in. Hmm. Well, how about this? I don't think we'll be able to figure out every single person's identity right now. Let's just go ahead and collect as much information as we can on this scene. Okay, you are... Which gentleman? that gentleman open the book while examining the face to flip directly to the sketch that's convenient nice I love it uh you okay hmm. how do I look at the bodies of other people I can't I can't visualize you right That person. Top hat. Impressed that the hat is still on. Despite all of this. Can you are? Folded hat. Ah. You are a... It's like a passenger watching the execution happening. And you? Just a lady? I don't know, her back is turned, I can't really make out anything. And you are the one next to her. Okay. Hmm. I think the game expects us to know who this is by now, but I'm not sure because I don't... No name mention has been made. The tattoos are incredibly distinct, but... Beyond that, I don't know. Tattoos and bandages around the waist? Let's go check out some of the other bodies first. What are you? Sailor, hat, armed with a rifle. You are. Hmm? Oh, nice. Beard. Okay. You're the one that was supposed to be catching this. Throwing it that way. Who are you? Oh. Interesting. What is that you're having? Okay. Let's collect as many people. Ooh. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's a pig. Oh, look how cute it is. I love a little snoot. Okay. Same hat man? Yeah, same hat man. Tossing the gun to you. Just double checking on this guy again. Okay, cool. Is there anything going on around here? There's too many people right now that I'm trying to like, keep stuff floating in my head. So I want to go and visit their bodies or where their bodies used to be. Piggy was here. 
goat thing was here. The guy catching the rifle was here. And the other dude was torn in half over here. How is this fixed? The rigging fell down, but what killed... It had to be something from way up high there, right? The thing that killed... Oh, is that the repairs they made over there? The white? Compared to, like, that black rigging over there? Like, it just looks like wood over there, but then this one has all this, like, bandages wrapped around it. Maybe that's the one that fell down. Let's go check out this body first. Collect and keep things bouncing around in our heads for a while. If you guys don't understand, I'll try my best to, like, put it all together. how you guys fought it back. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Who had that arm? That does not look good. Down here. <laughs> Just trying to get as many guns as he can up there. The tentacles. Wait, no. If it's a body, then. They must have died. This is, They tried this before, but it was too late. Because the body was already dead when we found it the first time. So you are. Five others are present. Who is this? How did I? Oh. Get to the main bit quick. Hold on, hold on. Throw it. Throw the powder. We don't exactly know how they died. Their body was already there when we found it, so... Oh. Yeah, see, this is... This happened a little while before. They tried to use the gunpowder, and the gunpowder did not, did not work. Mm. You're still alive at this point. The knife that you used to try to save yourself with. Yeah, it's still you, with the guns. Who are you? Same as Sailor, okay. Let's go explore a little bit more. If your body was found here... What is that? I keep seeing it every now and then. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh jeez. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's that's not a good way to go. Man, that's terrible. Can I go through? Okay, around it. Of all the ways to go, it's by your own equipment. Huh. Lots of damage here. Okay. Hmm. I'll still fast it down. Nothing else over here, is there? No, it looks like it's just that one body. And I guess we'll figure out more information as we go through it and collect 
see what happened with this person. That's a way to go. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh. He looks so young. Okay, what happened here? When was this? Okay, wait, so right before the storm, right? I don't see tentacles out, so this must have been right as the Traken showed up. Didn't even get a chance to fight it, just kind of died. Oh no. Alright, we'll go check out what information we got from this one. Part 7, The Doom. Or Chapter 7, Doom, Part 5. We know how they died. Got crushed by a cannon. Unknown soul crushed by a cannon. Occasional corpse there. Four others are present. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it just him? Huh. What's happened here? Sir, loose cannon. She's healing over, find your footing. So they're talking about the ship. Hmm. Four others were present. You were crushed by the cannon. We're supposed to know who they are. Blurry, blurry, not blurry. Hmm. Still blurry. Huh. We're supposed we we should have enough information to be able to discern who the other person was. You. And what happened here? Oh. Oh, you're missing a... Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. We've seen you before a couple of times already. And then... Wait, what? Another person? Why can't I get a reading on you? For some reason. Ah, there you go. Hmm. We are proceeding a little bit too far, but you're the next body. Okay, let's go pull out the information about this body and the work backwards, because I think we're skipping ahead a bit too far. Show me. Wow. Okay. So there's the body. But we're not going to go there. We're going to go backwards. I think we skipped ahead too far. We should have enough information to start collecting more data on people here before we go out there. So I want to go step back real quick. Because the problem is, if we just keep looking at all the dead people, then we won't be able to figure out all the information that we need to identify the dead people in the first place. Uh, no, you killed yourself before. I need to figure out what happened here again. So I'm guessing this is where the ambiguity comes in. When she's saying Martin, she's not referring to her husband Martin, is it? Uh, where's the crew list? Crew. 
Martin, Martin. Okay, so Abigail Huskett Witterell was married to Robert Witterell, brother of William Huskett, called for Martin. Martin Perra. Martin, where is my husband? My husband is down below. But Martin says, have you lost your mind? What are you doing here? Could it be? No, oh, that's not Martin, is it? I thought Martin would wear something like this. Like. Wait a minute, is it? Is it? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that's Martin. Okay, okay, yeah, that's Martin. Three memories. First memory. Show memories on deck map. Right here. Right next to her. Um, yeah, so this is Martin. White beard, outfit, your hat's missing. Okay. Unknown. We can name you. Third mate, Martin. Memories. This soul appears in three memories that we know of so far. Could maybe appear in pre like ones in further back in the past, depicted in just in Justice at Sea sketch. Wait, we don't need to bookmark these. They're multiple, both of all bookmarks. The other one that I want you to find is you. Two memories, perished in Doom Part Seven. First memory. All right, what's our first memory of this person? Explosion. Five others are present. Location of corpse. Hmm. Okay. We should have enough information to figure out who they are. Why don't... Wait, where's your body? There's another one. Oh. Mustache. Vest. Hmm. The game thinks we should have enough information, but I'm not sure why. I must. Am I missing something? I don't have enough information about his name. Or what his role was. I know he's a sailor. Let's go to the crew. Mm. Bosun. What's a bosun? Bosun, purser, helmsman. Let's check out the, the glossary, if we can figure out exactly what those terms mean. Bosun. Bosun, bosun, bosun. Alternative Botswain. Bosun. Foreman in charge of the general crew operations and equipment required to sail the ship. And the purser is... Administrative official. Okay, that's definitely not the purser. Accounts for all the cargo value and trade transactions. Manages small items for store crew. Huh. Midshipman, helmsman. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment-to-moment -moment navigation. Officer in training. Assists in various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Hmm. Rigging is a network of ropes and chains supporting the masts. Hmm. Let's keep diving. We don't have enough information about their names. I want to know who survived to this point. Okay, we already know this one. Yeah, you. Ugh. Okay. We 
We're supposed to know who they are by this point, but no names stick out. I wonder why. Is there something that we missed? Unknown soul? Okay, yeah, it's not Martin. Unknown officer. Huh. Can't be these, and it's it's gotta be one of the seamen here, right? Topman? Midshipman, no. Ship steward, passenger, passenger, passenger. Hmm. But it's not blurred, so we, we should know, but why? Question mark, wait, what's this question mark thing? Identifying people? Person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. It's not that we know, it's that in this chapter we will be able to figure out enough information to know them. Which is why characters like this, there just is not information right now in this chapter. So they can be identified with the information we discover here. It's not that we're supposed to know at the moment, so we can. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Because I thought I had missed something. Ooh. I like it, using this as, like, a way to, like, steady yourself. Okay, okay. Which means it's fine for us to keep diving. It's fine for us to keep diving because we just need to collect more information and see parts of it. We know that part. And then what happened down here? Is this the one where we can go down? Where's my watch again? Is there anything else here that we may have missed? No. We gotta go downstairs. Okay, let's keep diving, chat. Let's keep diving. <clears throat> I can't sprint. I wonder... Did all 60 people die? No, they can't be, right? We must have picked some people up. We started with 51. We must have made a stop somewhere and pulled up a few people. Body, body, body. You're the body. All right, let's go. Oh, oh my God. I mean... At least it was quick. At least it was quick. Okay. Oh, there you are! You're one of the gunners! Okay. Ah. Uh. Wait, before, before it times out, before it times out. Get any more information around here? It slammed against the back, which means it was. They're already fighting. Several cannons are missing. This one was in the process of being loaded. And then this one went off. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea how to identify the body because it has no head. Ah. Top hat. Top hat and mustache. Bald with the mustache. Top hat died above, didn't he? Did he? Didn't, didn't he? 
No. Both of them died? He was the, the one that showed the fuse. On the gun deck, though. So one of them was died. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's two people that died in the exact same way. You. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna try to. Top hat. Okay, your top hat. Where's your head? I don't see it anymore. Okay, so your top hat and you, that's being crushed right now, are. Who are you again? There you are. You are. That sailor. White vest, short cropped hair. White vest, short hair. Okay. That one. And then top hat here was you. Okay. So top hat here was ex ex exploded. I guess. <laughs> um shot. Cannon? I think that would be the best way to describe it. He was shot by a cannon. By... Uh, was it friendly fire? I don't... It doesn't... I don't think so. Because he, he shouted, The fuse. So... Someone had already lit the cannon. When it went off, he only noticed it too late because he turned around and said the fuse. By then, it was already pointing towards him. How do you get a cannon to point towards someone perpendicular to where it's like facing? An unknown seaman. No, no. Uh, we're just going to leave it as unknown attacker for now. You were crushed. You don't have information to identify the... Um, please explain. Try it anyways. I'll wait for the clues, okay? Yeah, we don't know this person, but this person was crushed by a cannon. Right here. Oh. Chat, do you guys see how the cannons work out? So you have one cannon here, one cannon there, and they're both facing outwards, right? But you have this second cannon here, which was over here. No, because they're all they're all the same. They don't have a swivel to turn left or right. Or to, to, to pan left or right. They have wheels that go back and forth over here. And that's good. So when you fire a cannon shot out, it'll recoil backwards. Instead of like, say, being bolted to the ship and causing the ship to move it'll just roll back on the wheels how did you end up getting turned all this way around oh that's a tentacle they were trying to fire it but the tentacle shot through the port little window and then wrapped itself around Wrapped itself around the cannon. And that simply just tilted it. Shot by the... <sighs> it was by the beast then. Because he was standing... He was standing over... Oh, I see his top hat now. I can see it. I missed it. He was standing here. And then saying, he's getting ready to shoot. The tentacle of the monster comes in and then points. Or like, it, I don't know if it's smart enough to point, but it came in there and then pushed the cannon to the side. And then he was standing here. He turned around because of the noise, saw the cannon, saw the fuse, shouted the fuse, and then got blasted. You were crushed by the cannon, but 
the tentacle is the one that shoved you into that, so he was standing here too. In the same way that these gentlemen are standing over here. Okay, so you are... A gunner, right? Hmm. Okay, where's the next body? Ah. Show me. Oh, wait. I can go this way. Show, show, show me, show me. <laughs> How am I supposed to get close enough to the body to... Clock? There we go. Alright. Let's go. Okay. There's the body now. Crushed. Show me what happened to you. Because you probably died... Oh. oh. So that's what happened. You were crushed between... The fuse was already lit at that point. He was trying to say belay the spark, but it was too late. So the tentacle came in here, crushed him between the cannon and the tentacle. Oh my god, you can see the legs, like, stick it down. You are... Bald. And vest? Bald? Shirt? Bald shirt. Okay. Oh no, 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 tell me, who are these? Ah. Oh, I didn't mean to call the person bald. I was trying to say, like, identifying features of the person. Okay, you are an unknown... Try anyways. You are an unknown gunner. Gunner, 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 gunner. Okay, so there's only two... Gunner and Gunner's mate. So you must have been an unknown sea, an un unknown seaman who was crushed. Uh, I'm gonna say crushed by the beast because the tentacle was the thing that began the action of causing his demise. So. I, that's the that's the best I can get. <laughs> I'm going to say he got crushed by the beast. It makes crushed by a terrible beast because the beast was the one that ended up crushing him against the cannon. You know. <clears throat> okay, blurred. Not enough information. Not enough information yet. What did he say? He said he didn't say anything. Load. Move by hands, aim level, ready. No belay spark. That must have been the gunner giving the orders, right? Which means... Someone here... Must be in charge. Was it you? Top hat. You. Bald. Where's the other person? Ah. <gasps> ah. You are beard again, okay? And you? Very little descriptive over there. <laughs> ah. One of the gunners that... Hmm. Okay. We need a bit more information. 
whatever happened here kind of makes sense. I don't think there's any information I can pull out from this at the moment. We'll have to keep going a little bit. I need them to say someone's name or a position, like... Like, officer or, like, captain or something. I, I need them to say... A rank. Wait. Why did not... Why didn't we... What? Do we not see... Okay, all these sailors here. Any doors open up? Mm. No? I... <laughs> one of the scariest things, I guess, is... It's like when someone's crying out in pain and you know that they're alive and conscious and then at some point they cross a threshold and they just stop and then they become completely quiet the the transition between those two is like this scary moment one moment they're alive and they're struggling in pain and they're trying to save themselves and then especially when they're screaming because they'll be screaming and they'll be like They'll just be like, ah. And then they just stop because they're no longer alive. That is really scary to me. Hmm. Okay. So, if we can't get any more from... Hmm? What? Wait a minute. Huh. What were you doing here? What? I don't remember this door opening in that memory. with his pants down. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think... I think this may have been one of the first victims. No. It's our art. Oh my god. No. So that's why we don't have any more artwork after this. There's no art because the Kraken the Kraken attack would have been one of those like you have to draw that, you know? And the fact that we don't have any artwork of the Kraken attack, that's why the artist died. Uh it's a terrible way to go. Oof. This person. Uh, where is our artist friend? Where's our artist friend? Edward Spratt was crushed by the beast. That is really unfortunate. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Back up here. Huh. A very vulnerable moment, right? Yeah, I... Oh. Interesting. It's really cool how we're using, like, the bodies of people at certain times. We'll go pick that one up later. I want to go, go back in here again real quick. Because they died sequentially, or not, like, 
Okay, I guess we do have to follow it. Not like, I don't mean like sequentially, but like they died in, you know, like interspersed throughout the timeline. You can kind of take a peek by going through each person's like fate. Okay, let's not go there. I want to go explore. Uh Oh. Chat. Hello. Are we back? Did we did we crash? YouTube was telling me that uh everything had crashed and was like, we're reconnecting you. Very odd. Strange. Okay, hang on. Let's go. We're not gonna listen to this again. We don't have to. <laughs> oh, we have to listen to it. <sighs> no, do we have to listen to? Oh. Uh, Okay, we, we, we did... Oh my god, we don't need to know that. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Beds. Okay. Mm. All of the cannons are... Oh! There's a guy literally sleeping in here. playing some games. No, they're just drinking. Okay, if they're not gonna say, if there's no dialogue here. Huh. X? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? 57. 56. 45. Map. Give me the map. Uh, the ship. Okay, so we started at the top. Now we're down here on the gun deck. Midshipmen. Stewards. Third mate for third to the fourth mate all have their own individual rooms. Right? So. You are delivering food to, if I stand here in your position, the map says I'm standing here. We're heading towards, ah, not enough information here. We're standing here and we have two plates of food. It could be any one of these. It really could be. And we don't have enough information because their memory blacks out here. That means... We have to come back later. Who's this Santa Claus man? Oh, hey, it's you. Third mate, Martin. Third mate, Martin. Does Martin have a family member? Does Martin have a family member? Martin Parrot. Fate unknown for now. Does he Pero 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 No No Pero Just double checking him. third mate though if you're third mate if he's third mate why would you be working with like hmm uh. hmm not blurred so we should know 
not this person. Pushed by the cannon. It must be one of. Hmm. One of the seamen, probably. I'm not sure which one. No names yet, so it's a little bit hard. But it almost seems like you are acting as a mentor figure to them and be like, all right, hey, like, hey, son, go pick up, um, like, two dishes. We'll go get them to, I don't know, second, third mate? Fourth, second, first? I don't know. Let's go find out. Because we want to see, before the chaos, I'm going to go and see if we can find out what happened before the chaos. Oh! What? That was weird. <laughs> hmm. Oh! There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Or I forget. You killed my brother. What? There was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <clears throat> huh. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, oh! Here. Oh, genuine surprise. And you. What? Wait a minute. What are you holding? Oh, I wish I could get a closer look. What? Are you, books? Hmm. Face is blurred. Not blurred. Okay. Hmm. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody Dane. Eh? How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. But I forget you killed my brother. That was an accident, the ropes. It wasn't his fault, I saw the whole thing. Lies. I shouldn't wait so long. Over my dead body, boy. So you're a Danish passenger. Unknown soul. Uh, England? Sweden? England, Persia, Scotland, China. Denmark, one Denmark. Lars Lind, a seaman. was clubbed by an unknown attacker for now. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. It was an accent of ropes. Kill my brother. Kill the brother. Kill my brother. You killed my brother. Um last names, last names, last names. Let me see here. Bro, Nikki Shin, Volkov, Walker, Bottle, Lee, Funament, Go, Blank, Milroy, James, Anderson, Moss, Dal, Sati, Tan, Sha, Limbert, Jackson, Pasqua, uh, Dalton, McKay, and a wolf said to give. Brother, you kill my brother. Do they mean Evans, Davy, Perro, Nichols, Woodrow? O'Farrell? Sefton, Gibbs, Smith, Smith. Do they mean brother as in like... Brother, brother? P P oh! Peters. Samuel Peters. Nathan Peters. Number 48 and number 60. Seaman. One of those two. 
unless the, unless I'm missing something in this. Hang on, let's look at the full list. This way. Hmm. I don't see anyone else. It looks like it's these two Peters. Number 48 and number 60, Samuel Peters. And number 8, Nathan Peters. One of them is dead. We don't know the rest. Or the, what happened? We don't know what happened to the other because as far as we know, it looks like he's about to get on the boat. It can't be now. It must have been a while back. There is very little information over here, so... Were they trying to escape the boat at night? Ah. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, um, Chad, if you guys will excuse me with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump through everything we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, oh gosh, can't count that fast. <clears throat> ah, so they do count as disappearances. Disappearances, seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of the chapters. Fates are cataloged here. Hmm, we don't really know what happened to them. What fate befell them? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Okay. Seven people went missing. We don't have to worry exactly... Hmm. The boat's missing though, so it's gone for good. Alright, let's go back. We're gonna work our way backwards. I wonder... If, hmm. The chaos of the fight is not helpful to me right now. I want to know who they were before all the chaos started. So let's see if we can figure out something down here again. Okay, these are still closed. This one's open, and then... Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. I want to. I want to take a look at something real quick. I don't know if it's true, but I want to. Okay, we're going to listen to the pooping guy again. But ignore the poop. All right. Forty-four. 43, 43, 43 crew. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. It would be too easy. 43, Maba, Topman from New Guinea. There's no way. That'd be way too easy. You wouldn't have... That would make sense, right? Like, hey, Mamba, you're the 43rd person on the boat, therefore you're going to be assigned to boat or like bed number 43. And then over here, no, not the location of the corpse, look at the ship, the body of the ship on the gun deck. Uh, gun deck. Okay, so I'm standing here. They don't even have. They don't even have the um, sleeping quarters like listed out here, like the, the what is it? Hammocks. The hammocks aren't even showing up on the thing. The rooms are though. Can we get closer to? Oh, this... <laughs> oh my god! This. <laughs> Oh, the sounds. Oh my god. Okay. Bosun quarter is here. Bosun mate quarter is over there. 
We can't actually go there. So all these rooms are not useful for us at the moment. Everything happens over there. Not again for the squeamish, right? But then we have X. Which doesn't make sense. Why would... Mm. There's like some text on the tag. Number 56. It can't be. No. Number 56. Henry Brennan. It would fit. Chat, it fits. It fits. Like... All the numbers that we see here are from the class of sailors here in the seaman sailor like category here. You know? It's not it 46 is the last one. Okay, let's go. Let, is there a number any lower than 46? Any number lower than 46? 41. Okay, so it can't be, right? Unless that's 47 and I'm just blind. Tag, your tag, where's your tag? Ah, it's hidden away. Okay, over here? 45. Okay, so some of these do go below. 44. 43. So, hmm. 41 is Top Man. Wei Li from China? 44 is Lewis Walker, top man from England. What is a top man specific exactly? Hmm? Glossary. Top man. Higher rated seamen specializing in work above the deck. In sails and rigging. Uh, specializing in work above the deck. But the location technically doesn't matter because if they're down here, they're probably resting. He heard everything. He heard everything. That's why he, he's making that face. He heard all of that. Whatever just happened over there, he heard all of it. Cutlery in hand. One, two. One, two. Wait, 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 wait. How, many, how much food have you prepared? One, two. And then... Three, four. Can we go fast? No, there's a wall. Hmm. I wonder... Uh, might be one of those things where we have to just decide by... Um, process of elimination? Okay. Unknown. Unknown soul. We know you are a sea man down here. Are there unknown seamen? Russia, Russia, England, Wales, India, 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 Sierra Leone, England, England, Ireland, England. And then top men. We have a lot of top men here from China, Scotland, Persia. Russia, England, New Guinea, top. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten total top men. How many shipmen total do there, did our boat have again? Or uh, seamen? The class wise. So we have. Yeah, we have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sailors in the top men position. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 25 total top men and seamen. Hmm. How many people here, though? Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 
three. We're not going to count you because we know you're, we, we already know who you are. Okay, so one, two, anyone sleeping? Three, four, five, no one's sleeping, no one's sleeping. Five, six, seven, anyone in the bed? Seven, eight, eight, no one's sleeping, no one's sleeping. Artist doesn't count. There's eight here. Okay, eight people down here right now. And then... Did they all show up, is my question, at the battle? Hmm. Okay, chronologically, let's head backwards to you. So this is right when they start attacking. Part three of eight. Okay. One, two. At this point, no one is sleeping. Yeah, I don't see anyone inside the beds. The tags are still there. Uh, food is also long gone. Mm. Why would they try using a cannon though? Like, the cannon wouldn't work if the Kraken is already here and it had. It's underneath a ship killing the artist. Unless it's. Unless you're like aim, hoping that the tentacle gets crossed, like right here. How do you. Timing that would be such a. You are. Beanie. You are. Blurry, bald, tattoos, top hat, and uh, dice game, bald dice. And then you are blurry mustache. I feel like I need to be writing these down, Chad. Okay. Next is this one. They don't have an established doctrine for Greg and Death. attacked by people and the Kraken. I think the Kraken had attacked and then after the attack they survived or a handful of people survived for a little bit until they all decided to attack the captain. The captain survived everything here. What was the captain doing in all this? Hmm. Let's go head back upstairs and see if we can ah, wait, not this way. Did we get through all eight parts? I'm a little bit... Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. This is the latest one. What part is this? One. Okay, everything starts here. Let me work chronologically forward and let's see if that helps me. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. You killed my brother. What? It was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <laughs> mm. Blurry. Blurry. Not blurry. We should have enough information in this chapter to figure out who he is. 
and you. We already know you, right? Yeah. Uh, you are. Wait. Where'd you go? There you are. Clubbed by an unknown attacker. We should have enough information, though. Um, Peters, right? So number four, forty-eight. Nathan Peters. Number sixty. Samuel Peters. I don't recall seeing a number forty-eight bed down there. Was there? Because we saw like a forty-one. Hmm. England, England, Samuel Peters. Let me on over my dead body, you bloody Dane. How's that? No cause for trouble. Get in the boat. Not to forget you killed her brother. That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. This is someone else saying that. Lies. I shouldn't have waited so long. I shouldn't have waited so long. So they've been dead for a long time. Is that why we don't see a 48 in there? That can't be though, right? Like, it's a... Mm. Three others are present. Lars is the victim here. Blurry, so not enough information here. Blurry, not enough information. We should know who this is. It's one of the Peters brothers. But I'm having a difficult time trying to figure out how to narrow down specifically which Peters Brothers it is. Location of the corpse doesn't help us. I, if, if we can know the connection between this Peters and these two, it would help me narrow things down a bit more, but I don't know who either of these two are, nor do we have enough information. I think we may have to hold this P the identity of this Peters on pause for now. Was there anything here that might give us a clue? Because the only thing that we know is that this happened... Not right before, but... A ways before. A, a, a little time before the Kraken attack. The goat. Yeah, the goat's here. I don't know what it's doing. It's just being a goat. Are both Peters in the drawing? No, the P no, um, because we don't know, we don't know which one it is. Like, I don't think so, unless, because he would be dead long before. You killed my brother. I shouldn't have waited so long. So the P other Peter's brother was already long dead, which means we won't know where their body is for a while. Okay, so this time here is a little bit too far in the past. We know you are a Peters, but we don't have enough information to determine which one of those two is. Which means we need to move forward chronologically a little bit. Okay, chronologically here. And then the two inside Top hat, and then blurry mustache, and then this poor little gentleman here. <clears throat> what happened here? <laughs> Sir. Loose cannon. The one he shouted, Sir. Loose cannon. You must be a seaman. That person behind. Okay, we know who you are already. Sir. Ugh, third mate. Almost anyone down there underneath third mate could be calling him Sir. That's the thing. So you could be any any lower length office, like any lower length sailor. <sighs> What's happened here? Sir, loose cannon. Okay, so it can't be that. It's not very helpful. It could, it could be anyone. She's healing over find your footing. Ah. Uh, 
I had initially thought maybe it was like Martin Perot, like a son, looks much younger. I mean, like their noses are pretty similar and they have that same like cheekbone structure thing going on. But we don't have a name. We don't have a Perot here in the crew list. It's Martin Perot. O'Farrell, Wolf, Dalton, Spry, Wolf, Pascal. Could be any one of these. Oh, it's not one of, there's no Perot. So it's not a family member. It's not like a son. Hmm. He looks similar to the third mate. Like, he looks Caucasian. English? Can't be Samuel Peters. Um, George Shirley. Actually, it can, mm, can be a lot. Wales, Denmark. I'm not sure how accurate the depictions of these characters' appearances are in tying them to a country of origin. Hmm. Hmm. Let me go and listen to their... Maybe their accents? I try their accents. Give me one more time. The way that he said loose cannon doesn't actually narrow it down for me. <laughs> the end sound isn't that distinct. It was definitely an, an accent, yeah. It was an accent. I'm not sure. <sighs> hmm. You're standing next to... Shoes? No, shorts, no. The outfit that you're wearing is the same one. Long sleeves, white shorts, little booties. <sighs> Don't know. Not enough information. Okay, we're just going to move on a little bit. Part three. Where is the third mate at this point? Where is Pero? Where is he? He saw the kid die. But he's not here. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to part four of eight and see if we can figure out a bit more. This is actually pretty challenging, chat. I know we're supposed to make some deductions, but... No, sorry. <laughs> this is part six. No. Okay, this is way too late already. Okay, tattoos. Officer with all those guns. Is there a position here that has 
access to the guns? Fourth me? Who would have access to all the guns? Is it just the gunner? Christian Wolf? And Olus Waiter? We Weyotter. Olus Weyotter? Okay, let me check out the glossary real quick. Gunner. Specifically, like, what do they do? Gunner. Military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. Military officer in charge of weapons. Because we see this character. That one with the beard. Okay, let's go to... Uh, wait, eight, seven, six, five is downstairs. Seven, six, five, four. There we go. Or where is everybody? So you were down here. Ah. Not enough information. Still blurry, not enough information here. Okay. Let's go ahead and work out this character, this individual's identity. Because we should have enough information to figure out who they are. Uh, there you are. Unknown soul, torn apart by terrible beast. Five memories. Yeah, we appears five times. So we should have enough information. Perished in part seven. First memory is on page 67. Show memories on map deck. Okay, you were here. You first showed up here. There. Worked your way to the top. But then you you died here, okay. Uh. Who would fit this description here? It would have to be somewhere within between the top men and the seamen, right? Hmm. I'm not familiar enough with the tattoos on his body to be able to say that he's from anywhere. Like, I don't know. I'm not familiar with like Persian tattoos or like Scotland tattoos, Chinese tattoos, tattoos from New Guinea. I'm... Mm. He doesn't speak. He doesn't speak. At all. <sighs> mm. Russian? Those tattoos don't look Russian, though, because it covers a large portion of his body. Sierra Leona? Hmm. I'm not familiar with the... I'm not familiar enough with this to, to be able to make it just like a guess. Okay. The Doom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people missing, nine people dead. Hmm. Okay, first person to die was Lars Lind. Attacked by an unknown attacker, one of the Peters. Next person to die with Edward Spratt, artist, crushed. 
We don't have enough information for this one. Crushed by the tentacle. These two blasted by a cannon. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the game expects us to have enough information to figure out who this young man was and who this gentleman was. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, let's... The tattoos are so distinct. I get the feel that we're supposed to be able to figure out everything without Googling. Like, without going out and be like, um, like, I don't know, like, tattoos from Sierra Leone. Like, we don't, I don't think we need to do that to be able to figure it out. I think the tattoos are helpful in determining exactly this individual, but I don't know if it's... Okay, wait, where does Abigail fall in? Abigail falls in part eight, right? So we have Abigail... Crushed by falling rigging, and then we have Edward Spratt, Lars Lind. We we need at least one more, right? Because we need three in order for it to be marked. Ah, right. Wait. This is all in Chapter 7, The Doom. Part 1, we identified Lars Lind, clubbed by an unknown attacker. We can take a guess, right? It can be either Samuel or Nathan Peters. But will, it, will the game know? Hmm. Edward Spratt crushed by a terrible beast. This one is nice. Like, or sorry, this one is correct. We got this one. Don't know this one. Don't know. Don't know. Should know. An unknown soul. It has some some connection to Martin Pura. I don't know why. I don't know where. I don't know where. Uh, an unknown seaman for now. Also, this one, an unknown seaman. And then the seven people that we don't know about. Okay, I know this person is definitely... I think they're drawn to be, to be to appear Chinese. But we don't have enough information here. Um, it's one of these top men, probably. Or someone, a passenger from, from Morsa? Hmm. Only one memory. Unknown seaman. I I wonder if it's like if it's just been super obvious and the dude's the fourth mate. Because he looks so young. Map. Ship. First mate. Third mate. Second mate. Fourth mate. <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry like for the scary music there. Uh 
let's jump to... Oh, I forgot you can't do that. If you were standing... Um, okay, we're going to pretend it's... Oh, Chiamo, thank you so much for the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Can we get some hearts in chat for... Uh, Chiamo and the 20 gifted memberships? If I'm standing here, okay, so... They had plates. Four plates, one for each of the four mates. Standing over here, heading towards this section of the boat. Likely not the bosun or the bosun mate. The midshipman quarters, steward quarters. The first mate was above. We don't know where the second mate is. Is it just the fourth mate? Have I been overthinking this? What is the fourth mate? I thought they were. I thought they were all supposed to be like with the old, or like uh, not old. Uh, sorry, experienced. Like they were. Had more mates. Okay. Officer or tradesman supports and assists the superior. Makes sense. General mates help run the ship and serve the captains. Tradesmen mates serve their superior. I guess technically the fourth mate would serve the third mate. Would they usually have fourth mates that young? Not the person. Mm. Presser, surgeon. We, we, those are kind of easy. Rated seamen in control of the ship's wheel. Moment to moment navigation. Servant to a higher officer or higher rated crew member performing general duties for the comfort of their employer. You could be a steward, right? Crew. How many stewards do we have? There we go. Roderick Anderson, third mate steward. It couldn't be the fourth mate. No, the fourth mate would have abs like would have actual responsibilities. So it can't be the fourth mate. It's got to be their stewards. Roderick Anderson, third mate steward. Then who's the one preparing the meals? Um, oh shoot, I gotta go back in time. Uh, let me escape. Roderick Anderson, Roderick Anderson. Let me go back real quick. Uh, oh jeez, I just realized we had to... <sighs> okay, one more time, chat, one more time. Ah, uh, close your ears. Oh. oh no, I'll cover your ears. Oh my god. I swear they did this on purpose. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Like little loafers, shorts, and a long sleeve coat. Okay, so if you're the third mate's steward, then you are... Who are you? Standing in the back. Position relative is... Over here, right? Who are you? Because you're cooking food. Are you the steward? Unknown. You don't have sufficient information to determine. Await oh, for the clues. What is the game about? Please explain. Oh, it's asking the game to please explain. I'm going to go place you as the steward for now. And if we set you to be the third mate steward. Roderick Anderson, third mister, crushed by a loose cannon. Mm, we 
should change this one. We should get rid of this because we don't know which seaman it is. Okay. Hmm. I thought there was this guy was in training or something. Is that just a steward? Okay. And then these ones. A Chinese sailor. This one is a... Ah, uh, really difficult to make out. I'm not sure, I'm not, fam I'm not familiar enough with this one. Okay, what was happening above while the guy was taking a poop? What were you looking at? A turban for a, a headwear. Beard and a turban. But you're also blurry. So we don't have enough information to figure out who you are yet. You were dis... The body was discovered by these two gentlemen. A sailor. Hmm. No, I made a mistake. I shouldn't be going to chapter one. We don't have enough information for chapter one yet. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, where am I? Okay. Can we find any information about... Where's the map? Ship. Uh, stewards. Third mate and first mate. Here we go. Third mate and first mate. Third mate. Nothing. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I thought there'd be something here, but no, I guess not. Weh. All right. Fourth mate, second mate, first, first mate, first mate. Okay, okay, you know what? Here, we'll just keep moving. We'll just keep moving forward. Let's see if we can find any more clues to any of the other characters real quick. Stephanie, thank you so much for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. Maybe we should get some hearts in chat for Stephanie's gift of memberships. Send the bear, thank you. I don't know what's going on, but I wish you good luck in solving the puzzle. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, Send the bear. So, the ship went missing. It was supposed to go somewhere, but it went missing. And then people had no idea what happened. One day it showed up. And now we have to figure out what happened to it, why it went missing, and what happened to all the crew members. Ah, excuse me. We have a tool with us that lets us see into the past and examine the immediate circumstances and surrounding location of anyone who died and their memories. And we need to figure out exactly how all of them died. Stewards. If anyone would be connected, it would have to be one of the stewards, right? Can we open this? No. No? Hmm. The outfit makes sense, though. It's the same outfit the steward boy was wearing. So they. Okay, so that is a steward. All right. Okay, let's check out the other rooms and see if we can figure out anything else here. Uh, we are now entering the room of the bosun. <gasps> Book. Can't take it. Oh? What is that? What? What is that? It almost looks like a pipe, but I don't know. It looks, but it's hanging on something. I'm not sure. It looks like a pipe, but I have no idea. Okay. Pipe, pipe. Wait, do we know anyone that died with a pipe? 
um, chapter, The Doom. Okay? Uh, no, we don't even know the location yet. We know him. And we're spread. This person. The necklace? Pipe? We're in the chapter of the boson, so... Blasted with a cannon. Is there any other thing here? Anything else that we can... What is that? A yoga mat. Mm, blankets? A book. Suggesting that they were educated, that they could read. The only person that I would say that fits that definition would be someone like Top Hat. Because why what else would you have a book? Like the outfit suggests that it comes from a wealthy enough place to be able to read. Right? The rest of them don't seem like they I, I know a lot of this is ending up with stereotypes, but Oh. Photo frames. Photo frames, photo frames. We are in the bosun mates. Must also be kind of wealthy because photo frames can't be that cheap. <gasps> hmm. No, oh, those are just carrying racks with the cannonballs. It's interesting, but I don't know if that's inf enough information right now. Just said C for so no, Well, no, I'm just saying that, like, stereotypically. There are, like, you know, stories of how... Ha Has that always been there? Has that always... <gasps> I was so distracted with the bodies that I ne I didn't notice. Who are you? Where did you die? You died. You're a midshipman. Books. Okay, so a lot of them were educated. What? Show me. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. Where... What happened here? Oh. Oh, I like how it highlights his... Oh, jeez. And you are... A clung? You again. What else happened? What else happened? Anything else? Oh my gosh. Face Doko Yam. I don't think the number of medical skills you can put in place can Kibi, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Chapter 9 Escape. So this happened long before. Oh no, Chan. Ooh. Okay, Chad, I... Oh no, Chad. Oh no. Um... Uh... 
I'm actually really <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this game. But I think this is one of those games where we have to see all of it. We have to see as much as we, we need to be able to unpack the entire box of puzzle pieces to be able to piece together the like the edges and the corners. It's I think it's one of those games. This might take some time. Lon uh Lon uh Lon C Carp. Hello, thank you for reaping the membership. Let's go open up the box and drop every single puzzle piece out there. Alright? We're not gonna solve it. We're going to just open up the box and find every piece. So, let's find the pieces. I thought this was chapter by chapter, that you had to figure out what happened in each chapter to figure out everything else, but no, I'm completely wrong on that one. We have to unbox it all first. Who wants to sit down and watch a movie? Let's go. <gasps> what? <gasps> you were already dead. That's a pistol in hand. A mutiny? <gasps> you were already stabbed at this point. And you're coming to help. And then... <sighs> it looks like it. Gun, face, no more face. Lashed out, shot twice, once, one shot to kill you, and then the second shot... No, he has a knife in his back. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. How do they die? You were clubbed by an unknown attacker for now. Who's next? You, oh, the initial victim. Okay. There's no way a club would have caused the damage. The fact that the top of his head is missing. Look, I know the body is there. You don't have to do this weird dance. <laughs> okay. How did you die? What did you see right before you ended? Oh. Hello, Haka. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, Hakidos. Um. Yeah. Juicy. Oh, that's okay. So that's why his entire face is missing. Oh. Did anyone else. <sighs> you shouted mutiny. Got stabbed in the back, tried to crawl. An officer came out here and then... Wait, does that mean anyone... <gasps> you... Where did you... 
Yeah, it's those two, but... They must have heard something. That was a re that was a loud gunshot. And it was very quiet because they were whispering. Six others were present. You were shot with a gun. That's all I can say for now. My unknown attacker... Not enough information to figure out who he is, though. Enough. Oh. Wait, Chad. Wait a minute. Enough. The captain cannot be trusted. You have a plan? We take the ship and sail east. Trade wretched fish and shells for gold. Who's there? Mutiny, mutiny. Fresh bastard. But he's the one that died. Do you see the X's? The X's mark where the victim died. The the deceased. The, this is the, the dialogue of the deceased that they said right before their death. Captain cannot be trusted. Captain cannot be trusted. Is this execution scene here? Do you see the, the, this person that's being hung and getting shot? Could this have been an inciting episode which caused this soldier or sailor to distrust the captain? We do have some name information. <gasps> it's not you, it's... You... <sighs> Wait... They had already killed... Someone? By the time this happened... Wait, double mutiny? Because the, he was talking about how the captain can't be trusted and then was caught and then shot. What was going on outside just before the moments because there were people out there ready to go and fight? What happened here? Who are you? Why did you die? And why is your body... Th what? Let them go. <gasps> oh, my God. Wait, these are just passengers. <gasps> Let them go? You are... Wait, who are you? What? Okay. You two are here, and then... What are you doing here? This, this one, this gentleman over here is very active. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. I need to find out who this person is. Is that Beanie? Yeah, that guy is everywhere. I'm not sure. Okay. How did they die? We know they got shot. Easy enough. Shot with a gun. He appears in six memories, though. How does... Perished in Escape Part 3. First memory is... The Doom. What? Wait. What? Hold up, Chad. What? Sh the very first memory of... Is that just our... 
is that just us? That... First memory simply says where he first showed up in our timeline when we went backwards, right? But here is chapter 7, The Doom, part 2. But if he was shot... No, this is part 9. So this happened... Afterwards? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's dive through this real quick and then see... Okay, uh... Okay, so the end is where the the the, cap, the fight with the captain happened, right? Yeah, fight with the captain happened in the end, and then escape is haven't gotten there yet. But we have parts of it. So he died on chapter nine, the escape. The doom is happened is where the kraken happened. Okay, so okay, never mind. My sorry, I'm my brain was not uh, working. Okay. I'll just wait for it to come back. Any day now, come on. I know the body's right here. <laughs> just had to make a big fancy show of flying all over everything. I know it's over here, just show me the body. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. <laughs> Hello, Paul. So we know you're Paul. Relative, friend, countryman. Witnesses, witnesses. Where are the rest? Where are the rest? Oh, they're running. Last boat, which last boat from what? Okay, this one's gone. Wait, what happened to this boat though? Because you see, this is where the the wires would be here, or not the wires, the the ropes to hold up that other boat here. This one has a knot in it. This one over there is missing. You won't take the last one? So they've already been... Hmm... The Lady Avenged Paul, yeah. How many Pauls were there in the list? We should know. We have enough information. Unknown Steward. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. We know it was a steward. So it's gotta be Paul. Was stabbed. Uh, struck? Killed. Sword. That makes more sense, right? By an unknown attacker for now, but... Okay, last one. Move quick. You better not do the last bow. Paul, look out. Stop, let them go. No, damn. And then he gets stabbed. That's a sword. Absolutely a sword. Paul Moss... First mate's steward from Wales, which would suggest John Naples? No, that would be too easy. Who was the woman who shouted, Paul, look out? Who was the woman who shouted, Paul, look out? I don't, it would have to be a passenger, right? They don't look like they would be... Emily? Miss Jane Bird? I think it must have been a passenger. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna open up, we're gonna keep opening the box. Where? Where's the body? Oh! It's down on the gun deck. 
That's right. Something was happening. What happened to your arm? Oh my god. What? Okay. Show me. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why does this take so long? What happened to the arm? Okay. There's the body. Not enough detail to make him out yet because he's super blurry. Oh. Okay. Put me down. Let go. Easy now. Definitely an accent. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Not that. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. <coughs> Captain was in the hold? you see before you died oh what did you see oh huh okay we might be able to head downstairs after this I gotta wait for the door to open Where did he come from? The blood started... It looks like the blood started... Started here, and then they carried him to the chair. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think this is probably where we would use the cause of death as expiration. The officer's mess hall. I know you are French. Bosun's mate? Where is my... Wait, no. He said, where's my French... Okay, so... He's not the French... Sailor. For now, let's simply set him as an unknown officer. Who expired... Due to blood loss. After getting the arm ripped out. No, old age. No, it's not old age. Uh, torn apart? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's not, it's not old age. Eaten? No. Electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze. Ill... Tragic ill... <laughs> Knifed, poisoned, shot, spear, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart. Torn apart. By the beast. That would be the closest one. It looks like he survived, but died from blood loss. So I would say torn apart would be the best one. Because if I tried to say expired, it would simply just say expired from old age. Which, I mean, doesn't necessarily sound like the right thing. So I would say torn apart by the beast. Unknown officer though, right? Okay, what does he say? Put me down, let go. Easy, you're in a bad way. The squid. Where is my Frenchman? Where is my Frenchman? Where's my Frenchman? Verdammt. Verdammt. It sounds German, but I don't know German. It sounds German, though. Verdammt. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? Curse like that does not live for nothing. Curse like that does not... Do we have a German passenger? Crew. German. Uh, Austria. Alfred. Christian Wolf Gunner. From Austria. Uh, I 
doesn't look like we have. Okay, so Austrian would be the closest one for that accent and language, right? Where is my Frenchman? Where's the French sailor here? Ah, oh, this would make sense. Alfred Klestel, bosun from Austria, looking for his Frenchman, bosun's mate, Charles Minor from France. That would make sense. That falls nicely together. No, not the doom, sorry. Uh, escape, 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 escape. There we go. Um, you are Alfred Klestel, the Botson. <gasps> Boson's correct. Edward Sprott's correct. Roderick Anderson's correct. One, two, three. But now we know something was going on here. And that's what we need to find out. Ship. Okay. Ship. I'm staring at the first mate. The cabin of the first mate. Okay. Let's see what's inside the cabin of the first mate. Head back to the real present time. And then... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six dead, four missing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. As far as we know, they're alive, aren't they? Wait. Two women? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh jeez. It's we can't it's not enough to just say alive. We have to wait a minute. Open the book while the pocket is watched over until the relevant page. Chapter nine Escape. Assuming that they managed to get onto the boat, would they have Canary Islands, Madeira, Madeira, Ma Ma Made Madeira, Madeira. There'd be no way they could sail or like. That's such a great distance. That's huge. There'd be no way they could make this. Could they? Hmm. Let's keep finding for more information. More more things to look at. Uh oh. I don't know what that is. Oh. Excuse me? Is that? Is that? Wait, there was already fighting going on? Okay. This person was injured on the ground. Steward's watching. So that's what happened to this boat here. They were escaping already. Ah! <gasps> the pipe! 
look at all that. Okay. And you are... An officer and... Ah, not enough time. <laughs> we'll come back. You gotta keep opening up the box. Oh my god. <laughs> Chapter 3? We skipped 6 chapters. Outside the first mate's window. On the main deck. This person, well we know they got shot at the very least. Shot with a gun. Let's go check it out. was another body all the way over there what were they trying to run away from that they would <gasps> the scene of the execution Okay. Okay, okay. It's over here. Come on. Finally, thank you. <laughs> the scene of the execution. Okay, what do you see? Wait, I'm clicking too fast. <laughs> been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. In. Fire. I don't know if we'll have any information because he was... He had his head covered when he got shot. What information would you have got if you were blinded? Oh, he got a good look at everyone before. Oh my god, the... Almost the entire place is here. Ah. <gasps> ah. Mr. Wolf, you may fire when ready. That's the hand position you would say to say fire. You would have swung down. So you're Mr. Wolf. Top hat, clean shaven, suit. There you are. Okay. We have two names. <laughs> Alright. Who is this? This is... Hok Sang Lan? Was... Shot the gun by <laughs> wait uh unknown for now cuz i i didn't pay attention to who who shot let me let me see stop with the stop with the shakiness stop it how right now okay who 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 hit who hit You hit. You're the only one that hit. <gasps> beanie. It's the beanie guy. The beanie guy's the only one whose bullet is not miss. How do you miss at this range? Oh, come on. Uh, 
that's that's clearly a miss. He's the only one. center of mass people. Come on, <laughs> what is <this laughs> skill issue? Okay, and you, Nuzio, self-confessed Nuzio, right? Murder, but what if it was a language barrier? A language barrier that made him confess to something he didn't do. Oh, come on, why do you gotta be so dramatic? <laughs> Miss on purpose, so no guilt. The, okay, so the way that firing squads deal with that is that you have like six to seven rifles. Only one of them has a bullet, and then the rest have blanks. And that way, you don't have to think about whether or not you were the one that shot the gun with the bullet. Because you can say, I was one of the six rifles there out of the seven that had a blank. So, like, you don't actually have to fire. It can just be blanks. And that way, you don't have a guilty conscience. You can tell yourself, I just shot a blank. Hello. Oh. Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. Nichols. Fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. <gasps> Watch your step. Here, let me help you. What were you doing? No. What were you doing? <gasps> what is that? Uh. Treasure? Conch? Shell? Someone was knocked out here. Ooh. Nichols, you, what were you up to? Okay. And then you are. <gasps> what? Violinist. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Corpse was moved post mortem. I didn't get a good shot on the weapon. Let me go back. I want to go visit the body again. Okay. That, the hand position suggests it looks like a knife. Right there? Um, that little gray spot right there. So do you see how there's a fist here? And then there's like that sharp edge? It looks like it was stabbed. Unknown fate. Looks like he was... Uh, struck? With, no. What was he in? Knifed. Knifed. You're the victim. Hello, who is there? Someone there. Senor Nichols, is that you? Ah, uh, yes, fine. Here, let me help you. Stab. So, you were stabbed by Nichols, and... You must be Nichols. This person, right? Yeah. Make sure I look the right person. Nichols, Nichols, Nichols. Nichols. <sighs> no way. There's no other Nichols? There's a Nicholas. But it says, mm, it's gotta be, right? But why would the second mate? Because 
He says, in the memory, Signor Nichols. It's a surname. Which is why you would be so trusting of letting him get close. Are you Charles Minor, the Frenchman? Senor? Senor? That, that'd be French, right? Was knifed by Edward Nichols, the second mate. Two others are present. Bosun's mate. Monsieur is French. Okay, so let's so not this one. We'll, we'll clear it out for now. Edward Nichols, but was stabbed by Edward Nichols. We know that much. Okay, um, we'll, we'll hold off on that one so we can figure that out better. Uh, okay, so knifed by Nichols. Hoxing Lao was Lao was here as a passenger, second mate Edward Nichols. Wait, so the body that was already here. <gasps> he was knocked out the entire time? And then framed for the. Oh. What is this, though? Okay, did anything else? It doesn't look like there's anything over here. We may have to go back into... The shell looks really interesting. All right, if I get stuck like this, we're just going to keep moving forward because I'm just going to assume it's more puzzle pieces that we got to get out of the box. One, two, three. Three dead. Hawks and Lau. Um the violinist, and then someone else. But now we can go below deck. Can we go even further below? Oh yeah, here it is. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. It's a lot of blood. Okay. Oh, this way, this way, this way. There's not enough detail here that I'm pretty sure that we're in the wrong area. <laughs> Everything's too, too grayscale. Alright. Uh, is it down below even further? Doors? Okay. Ooh, a workshop. Okay, more doors. Nice. Alright, let's keep opening doors. Bodies? Any? Ooh. Ooh. What are these? Is this the powder? It's gotta be the powder, right? So when they say throw the power, powder, blow it up, it probably was one of those. Okay, so this one goes all the way around and... Oh no, they ate the goat. Wait. Hold up. Are those? What? Wait a minute. What? On the other. Oh, oh my god, I got. This. <laughs> Uh, 
How do we get around that side? Got scared of ropes, chat. Can't open this door. We go all the way around, I suppose. Because there's a body there. Yeah, the flies is... Okay, goat first, goat first. Huh. Oh, I guess they're just knots in the wood. Wait. But... That's... Blood. Oh... Okay, goat first, goat first. Goat first. Goat first. Show me. Wait, that's a cow. Petter here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone of brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> 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 You all right there, sir? But <laughs> never been on a farm, John. Mind your shoes now. Man, did you hear how long it took for the cow to die? Could you could still hear it and listen to all that? Hello, Charles. Yeah, that's kind of. No other better way to get fresh meat on the boat, though. Okay, before we time out, let's go find out. Ooh. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Meat. Ooh. Passengers. <gasps> Royalty? A guard. First sighting. Ooh. And then what is happening here? What? Glee, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Is that a monkey? Can we get some hearts and chat for Glee and the gifted membership? Thank you so much for the gifted membership. A bitter cold. Orlop deck. Okay. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Understandable. Ten others were present. We finally get a look at the royalty here. And this one over here was Huxing Lao, so hmm. Ah uh, I figured there was something suspicious going on here. Who are you? Please tell me the monkey lives. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. We haven't seen the body of a monkey yet. Okay, what was going on here with this gentleman? It looks like they're unconscious. Hmm. <gasps> Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Lung consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at Alaska House. No. We checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. I guess he didn't make it. They didn't have the medicine back then to take care. Larry Restore, thank you for the super chat. I've seen other players, but I'm excited to watch you. Your enthusiasm for Laura's always infections. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Man. So you... are the doctor. Surgeon? Surgeon's mate. We'll set you at the surgeons for now. We don't know who, what happened to you, though. But we know you're the surgeon. You are an unfortunate sailor that got sick. Hmm. Surgeon's mate, I suppose? 
That would make the most sense, right? Search is made. For now, let's hold those there. If we need to adjust them, we can just, just change them out. Okay. What else was going... <sighs> Same as the other guy. So, that must be... <sighs> that must be the other guy got sick. They probably didn't have the materials necessary to take care of them. Or even the knowledge, at least. They were just still chilling. Getting ship sick on a ship like that and just kind of hope for the best. Yeah. We don't know who they are for now, but we do know that they died from an illness. So let's keep moving. Yep, that was the body. Set before germ theory. It's right here. Come on. <laughs> okay, who are you and what happened right before you died? Oh. Worry about yourself. Sayan, okay. Oh, man. Wait, number 54, 54, crew, Syed. Let's see if it lines up. Let's see if it lines up. If it does, then we have an easy way to test out the rest of them. 54. <sighs> it does. It was that easy. Are you serious? Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense because there's so many, there's only so many, um, what is it? Hammocks. That's the word I keep forgetting. There's only so many hammocks. So you do want to assign hammocks. Okay. Solomon Syed from India. You. Can we go focus on you? Solomon Syed. So number 54, Solomon Syed, unfortunately, passed away due to, wait, why can't I open up your, huh? Hey, why can't I open up his page? Okay, well, hmm, better call. Not you. The one that... Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> we have to wait for this to wrap up. We gotta we got finish the memory vision first. The door isn't even open yet. Okay, while that's taking place... 58... 56... 55... 57... Oh my god. Okay. Ah... Uh. We've seen this bag and the pipe before. Bag and pipe number 47. Okay, shoe 37. A tattoo on the forearm. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, let's see. Let's piece together this person. You already got Cyan, unknown fate, illness, unfortunately. Okay. Stop your cheating. Worry about yourself. This must have been the conversation going on in the background between the the Russians who were playing cards at the table, right? There's three though, so I'm not sure which one. Are all of them Russian? All, all three? Hmm. Feet. Can't, it's too far though. Can't make up the memories. 
39. Fifty-nine. Oh no, don't tell me. <sighs> okay, we know you are most likely going to be someone, friends, or one of these three. Renfred, Abraham, William? Can own one of these because they also spoke the same language that Saeed did. Nothing, not enough information yet, though. Mm. Huh. So you're the mystery person, X? The one crushed by a terrible beast. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back later. We'll come back later. 51. 51. You. Unknown? We do know who you are. 51. 51. Renfred Raju. Okay. Are there anyone else that we can pick up real easy without... Because oh, their faces are covered. It's hard to figure out who they are. We have to stare at their shoes this entire time. Oh my god. Okay, we'll figure out these gentlemen later. But there's a distinguishing tattoo here of a lady in a dress. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back. A bitter cold. One. Two, three deaths. Okay. Three deaths. All right. The last one that I wanted to go pick up before the... Where's the skull? There's the skull. So it is that one over there. <laughs> okay, this one is the one we haven't um, examined yet. Lazarus? You know what, honestly, at this point, we can just go ahead and write down, oh jeez, you got stabbed through the wall? Did it go all the way through the wall? Okay, wait, let's see if we can make it before, no. He got stabbed and tried to take cover. No, we can't go that. Who are you? Can we just... <laughs> what happened to the Oberdin? Some shit. And then we leave it. Walk. The port walk. Okay, we don't know who he is, but let's just say he was a uh, struck by no uh by by a terrible beast. Okay, yeah, what here? Let's just, let's just... Oh! Oh! 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, what happened on this ship? Oh, come on. Oh, who is it? I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Oh, give me that gun. Give me that gun. Oh my god, okay. So he was already impaled against the door by this thing. It looks like it's already dead. Washing the blood off, exhausted from the fighting, so this is just finished. What is that? Cannon? That's a gun. It's a big gun. Oh my god. I'll get you down. He's dead. No, he was alive long enough to hear this guy say, I'll get you down. Uh, is this all that was happening? Okay, so we know about this guy over here being dead. This guy's just crawling over after he got stabbed. Okay. Who is this unlucky gentleman? Who is this? We don't know, but we know that he was... Bike. I guess would be the best way to put it. I've got you, don't move, I'll get you down, give me the gun. And he doesn't even say anything, he's just already expiring at this point. Location with the corpse. Okay, let's keep going. Next body is... The one closest to the crab. Also, chat, I know there might be some clues I'm missing, but it's okay. We are just opening the box and taking out all the puzzle pieces first. It's right here. Come on. Twice? <laughs> oh. Is it the crab? Don't tell me it's the crab. Oh my god. They set the crab on fire. With him still, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, it looks like he is actually impaled on the crab and there's no way to get him off. So... Yeah, it's fire. Look at how he's blocking his eyes from the, the heat. You have a spike already. Okay, so he did die from a spike. Okay, good, good, good. You're already impaled here by this point and dying. There's the gun. What were you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what the cause of death would be. Was it be would it be the fire, or would it be... Was he dead by the time he already got stabbed, or was he on, caught on fire? Uh... I... I well, fire isn't one, so I guess... Spite. For now. Didn't even get a chance to say anything, just died. Okay. Oh, it is these two. Burned? I guess? I guess we can say burned? Burned. Burned to death. 
Okay. Now these two... Let's find out. Oh my god. Looks like they have... what? They're like sitting on the crab, but then the crab has all those spikes, so... Chapter 6, Soldiers of the Sea. James Wallace, Surgeon's Mate. Well, we know what happened now. Um, decapitated by a beast. And we don't know who you are, but you were also decapitated by a beast. A corpse stuck to the crab? Maybe? What if it's like a... Uh an entity. Kunti Chen? No, I don't think it's Kunti Chen. I don't know if Kunti Chen rides, like, crabs. There's the body. Oh. Wait, what? This one? Oh, no, no, no. You're throwing the... Uh, like a canister of oil to set it on fire. Ah, okay. That above is the body. Oh my god, what? You were spiked too. Are you fine? Fine, fine. I was waiting for it to run around, but no, I gotta wait for it to, or I have to like go up close to it. Okay, so you died here too, but a long time ago. Oh. knocked it aside and then right afterwards the enemy swung their arm you see that arm and the arm is the one that shot these spikes and oh! no the spikes hit Nick and there's also one going directly for his friend oh my god Good luck with all the puzzle pieces. I can't wait to catch them on the bond. Thank you. 
Thank you for the super chat. I hope you have a good day. Okay, someone Nick. Uh, I want to try it anyways. Nick, Nick, Nick. Who's a Nick? Nicholas. There you go. Easy. Was spiked by a terrible beast. Wait, it says enemy though. So speared by enemy? A foreign enemy. I think it was spiked because they look like literal spikes. Oh, mm. And Daemon. What language is that? Crab monster? Cute monster? Are they cute? I like the hair. That arm thing is really cool. Oh, they have small hands. I mean... Maybe not including the crab, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe, is it kelp or is it hair? It's really hard to make out. I think it's like... I would need more details, like texture wise. Oh. Wait, you were. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a. That's a harpoon. Wait. Okay. Quick, try to get an upskirt of the crab. I'm not even sure if they're wearing a uh, wearing one. I think they're just wearing like a kelp. The guy is dead, and you do a loop de loop around the. Oh my god! Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Another one. So are there more? <sighs> what happened to you? I mean... I mean... Oh, hey, it's you. I don't know what mask they're wearing, but... Can I see underneath the mask? I can see, like, between their hair, but... <laughs> Soldiers of the Sea. Okay, so you definitely got speared by enemy. Not the crab, the enemy. What's the next one? Ah, it's you. What happened here? <laughs> oh. Look, there it is again. The little sparkle. Sir, that is a crab. No, 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 I'm not talking about the crab. I'm talking about the person on top of the crab. Okay. So this is right before they came up. Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh jeez. That's... <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that's really unfortunate. Alright. The rest of them are here trying to get that. That looks so cool though, oh my god. And then it was right then that... Ah, there it is, there it is, look. They're just starting to climb on board. I mean, of all the ways to go, I guess that would be probably one of the best ways, right? It's lucky he missed the crabs. Exactly. Okay. No name for now, but we can know what happened to them. E electrocuted. Easy. Okay. Let's take a look and see if we have any information about the others here. Unknown, unknown fate. Okay, nothing that stands out obviously at the moment. But we can see them just popping out over there, the crabs. Hmm. Wait, let's go check out the other ones first. You. Oh, wait, I have to get closer. No? You? Decapitated by a terrible beast. You are... You're that sailor. Shot with a gun. Unknown assailant, though. No. Well, hey! It's you again. Alright. There's more people just kind of like hanging around there. Can we zoom in on you? No. Yeah, the tattoo guy. Still not entirely sure who he is. I think we'll get more information as we... Do we have to go up there? Can, I, can we even get up there? I don't think so. Wait. Let's head back in. Part one of eight. Okay. I don't think there's anything particular that opens up here, right? That shadow belongs to you. I don't think any door opens up here. Nope. Did they follow their acts of God? I would. <laughs> I think they do. The force majeure clause is used for things that are unexpected and makes whatever task you want to try to do, like, impossible. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. Loose cargo, nothing about that. Bitter cold. Uh, three people died here. Solomon Sayed died to an illness. We know that one is true. Unknown. Also died to a tragic illness. Does this person show up anywhere... Mm, no, if they're dead at chapter 2, Bitter Cold, we will find out their information in chapter 1, Loose Cargo. I don't think we'll know um, this person's identity until we go past, or into the past, I mean. And then over here, the third death was the cow. <laughs> ah, okay, Jack, give me just a moment. I want to go to a quick... Was it the sick guy, Sayed? Yeah, Sayed was here. Died to an illness. Um, the other guy was in the surgeon's room, also got sick, just like Syed. Um, I'm going to go to a idol meeting real quick, and I'll be right back. I'll leave you here with some nice, uh, I don't know. Uh, where's the one with the music? Music. Here we go. I'll leave you all here with this music. Be right back. <sighs> Yeah. 
chat and back okay wait uh i had a uh a memory sorry let me just where's the sick guy uh the sick guy's upstairs i i have a memory chat i remembered This way? Yeah, over here. Not the decapitated guys. I'm looking for the... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, chat. It was upstairs, right? It was where all the hammocks were. Okay, let me go figure out the hammock. Because I remember, we have enough information to figure out one person. Very easily. Uh, can I just? <laughs> no, not tattoo guy. I don't think I'll figure out who tattoo guy is until the very end of the game. Um, I'm looking for the sick guy. Where's the sick guy? Where did I put the sick guy body? Okay, well, no, this is one of the sick rooms. Where did Syed die? How do we go to Syed? Um, bitter cold, the very beginning. Syed, how do we get to his memory? Uh, first memory, perished in bitter cold. Is there a way to get into this one? Can we get into the memory from the book? I don't think so. That's the thing. It bothers me, but I don't think we can. Hammock? I don't know which hammock it was, though. These aren't the hammocks. I think the hammock was upstairs? Or was it downstairs? Is it with the crab people? No, this is where... Um, Huxley Law was framed. Oh! We'll check out that one later. Is this a new area? No, this is where Hoxing Lao was docked out and then framed, and then this is where like the the shell thing is was. But mm, where's the thing, chat? Not this. I don't like how I can't go into the memory by using this book. I want to use this book to get to the memory. Why can't I get in there? Uh, it was first memory appeared perished in a bitter cold part one 
show memories on deck map. Uh, show memories. Okay, so I'm here, all the way down to the left. All the way down, and then to the left. What? Oh! Oh, it's your bot. Okay, the body. <laughs> there we go. Where was ah? Here we go. Chat, do you guys see that? The side satchel and side satchel and then the pipe connected to number forty-seven. Forty-seven. 47, 47, crew, 47, all the way down here, 47, crewmate, Alexei Toporov. Okay, remember that. Remember that name. Alexei Toporov. Wait. Is it one of you? What memories do you appear in? First memory? Alexei Toporov appears in this memory, okay. But, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it you? Appears in two memories. Show memory on deck map. Is there one at the main deck? No. There is one. He appears in one of them. Murder part three. On your toes. Give it up. I think it might be this one. Unknown soul was shot by a gun by an unknown attacker. Unknown attacker. Wait, okay, where was the location? It's on the gun deck outside First mate's cabin. First mate's cabin. We are currently located on... Shim? Where are we? We are on gun deck and by the... this place. I don't know. We gotta head over this way. So... Right. Right. Right, right. Turn right. Turn right. And then... Oh wait, hold up. We're not in the real world. Okay, now we're in the real world. Right, right, and it's outside on gun deck. Okay. Up uh, here. Over here. You. Murder. Skip. Oh, no, 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 we're, we're too far. The royalty... Climbing... Down... Into the boat to escape. And over here... Where was the guy? Ah, <gasps> there you are! Ah, <gasps> the bag... And the pipe! You are Alexi. This is a deduction rating. Higher rating more like more difficult to do this this blah, 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 blah. A higher rating means it'll be more ah darn it. Focus on easily easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Okay, we can leave the more difficult ones for later. Um sure. Alexi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, more difficult, more difficult my butt. All right. Okay, 
So, I'm gonna try to figure out some other. Ooh, chicken. Lots of meat. <laughs> outfit that looks very much like a steward's outfit. Do we already know who you are? You are a steward. Uh, unknown steward. It could be one of these. We'll name you as an unknown steward. Memories? Where do you show up as? First memory shows up on page 24. Um. Okay, we're here. Where is... Hmm. Ah. Okay, so he's standing here and witnessing it during murder part three. Murder part two, he's located out there, but no, we don't have enough information. Not enough information. Not for this guy. All right, let's take a look. Do we have information for you? Where do you show up? Unknown. Three memories. That should be enough to narrow him down to at least some part. Kimbe, thank you so much for the super chat. Just want to thank you and the coys for being here. Your streams are always very cozy and warm hearted no matter the media. And it helps when I can't sleep. Again, thanks for being here. Don't forget how cool you are. Aww. Kimbe, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I hope you're able to get lots of rest and cozy dreams. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. Uh, this soul appears in three memories. I don't think the first memory is useful at all because it just simply says when in time we first noticed them. I think more important than that is chronologically, where were they and where did they move to? So the first time was here, murder. And then we saw them again here trying to escape. Where was the third time we spot them? Because it says they appear in three memories. There's one. There's two. But I don't see a third one. Three. A bitter cold. Oh. Tokuta Azukara. Hello. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. A bitter cold part one. Are they... Are you one of the guards for uh, what was it? Formosa? Formosa. Formosa. I think you may have been one of the guards because you're wearing the same outfit in the same role as uh, Hok Sing Lao. So, because if we look at the picture, it's these three, right? Or are you? Hmm, no, I guess they're different. No, the uniform. No, yeah, the uniform is completely different. They have like that stripe. Hmm. Formosan royalty, but it's in quotes. Uh, try anyways. Formosa, Formosa. One, two. Three, four. We are gone. We know who he is. Chiyo Tan, Yipeng Sha, and Bun Lan Lim. I'm not familiar enough to know whether these are like feminine or masculine names, so I can't decide. We'll come back to it later. Hmm. You. Who are you? Oh. Appears in three memories. You appear on memories, what? Murder part two? Murder part three? Bitter cold again? If you appear on bitter cold, then... What are your shoes? Long pants, shoes, rolled up sleeves, bitter cold. I think we're gonna find a lot of our characters in a bitter cold, but we have to stare at shoes. Which one of you guys have heels? I need to find ones with distinct heels. Hmm. Heels. 
half inch. If he also appears in Bitter Cold, I think I know who this one might be. Show memories on deck map. Murder part. The Doom. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. The Doom and Murder Part 3. Okay. <laughs> no, this guy doesn't appear. All right. How about you? Where memories do you show up in? Oh, you're Lars. Okay, we already know who you are, but we want to figure out who you were stabbed, clubbed by. One of the Peter brothers, right? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Show memories. It was an accident I saw him die. On the ropes. It wasn't... <sighs> There's the door. Wait, 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 wait. He said it was an accident. I saw him die on the ropes, right? Does that mean... Mm, you... Are you a Peters? Because this happened this happened long ago enough, right? You doesn't look like a Peters. No. Someone else must have died. No, it must have been earlier than this, right? Nah. It doesn't look like the same person who clubbed uh, Lars, so probably not. We'll go back, though. No, I thought there was someone else who may have died somewhere on the ropes, but I suppose not. Okay, so let us go look for... What's the next one? Oh, yeah, leg. Downstairs. In the... Ship. Where was the leg again? The leg was down here in the Orlop deck. So go down one. Down two. And then... All the way back here... There should be... Down three, and then the leg is over here. Whose leg is this? Show me. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Oh. Throw them back or doom us all. Throw them back? And put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. Here are more. All fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? What? What happened? You. This is John. This is John. This one is a surgeon. Who are you? The one holding him back. Okay, once the memory is done, we'll go open all these doors. But I'm curious to know... What happened there? Who are you though? Are you Top Hat? You're one of Top Hats, but... Oh wait, no, we know who you are. Mm. <sighs> 
Okay, what chapter is this one? Unholy cap captives? Huh. Why do they describe them as captives? In the cargo deck. Okay. Location of the corpse. But it's not the corpse, right? Or did they die? Did they die? I thought these bad... Mm. He doesn't speak at all. all f all's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? He's not talking to John, so that's not John. Someone else. Bloodlines? Unknown fate. Axe burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten, electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, freeze, illness, killed, sword, knife, poison shot, spirits. We'll leave him as unknown fate for now. We don't know. We don't have enough information. Okay, where is the next one? Ah, up here. Okay. Oh. Oh, this we might have to wait. We might have to come back to the foot. There's a lot happening here. What are you beckoning for? Oh, yeah, we have to come back here. There's a lot of information here. We need to... Ooh, I like this one. Okay. We gotta come back to the foot. The broken leg. All right. So this is right before uh, they brought the thing. So in the past, they brought it down, put it in here. I'm guessing Hoxing Lao maybe stumbled across it accidentally or something. Why was he there? Because he was knocked out. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's. Ah, oh, what a way to go. Did. Oh, yeah, that. Final destination style, man. That's all oh, God. Who are you? Oh, you're. Yeah, that's a way to go. What is that? A manatee? Makes you think of a manatee. Maybe they're trying to catch f catch it for food? Oh no. What happened above here? Oh. Huh. It was just chaos. <laughs> just absolute chaos. It looked like it had fins for feet. Okay. Ah. It looks like he was crushed. Cargo? By falling cargo? I think that would be the closest one, right? Fell? Overboard? Oh, fell stairs. That would be it, right? Fell down the stairs to his death. Well. I think it was. Hmm. I think it's okay. We'll we'll say fell down two stairs, and then the thing fell down and crashed on top of him. But like, it looks like he fell down, hit his head against the barrel, and then the 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 wood came and crushed his neck. I think I think mm, I want to say crushed more than anything. Crushed by cargo, but I feel like crushed by cargo is specifically like barrels. Or like crates, you know. Oh, nah. Just say, just say, fell down the stairs. It'd be the most specific here. Okay. Huh. You? Not enough about you yet. 
you. I feel like we should know who he is right now. Artist. Oh, so that's what you're holding that book. Okay, and you are? You're the one who helped the others escape, right? Oh. I think we should have enough information to start piecing everything together, but I want to keep going. Give me, give me close. <laughs> Got crushed by the thing. I think he just... He's right here. The body is like, come on. <sighs> Do I have to follow it? So he had already died by this point. But how? Manatee, but the manatee has like spikes on it. Now where the spikes come from? Okay, we'll wait for the memory to finish, and then we'll put him down as the cook. <sighs> the spiky manatee. <laughs> okay, you were twenty-eight others were present. Who is this? You were the cook. And you were slapped? Question mark? Struck. Struck by tail. The beast's tail. Ah! <gasps> Oi! <laughs> Surge's mate. Okay, got that one. Thomas Septon cook struck by... Okay, that one was obvious. This one was also obvious. Ah, uh, I don't feel like I did much. This one was pretty easy. No, no, no. They they literally just said the names. Then it's not an accomplishment. These were like freebies. We'll continue. All right. After the chef was killed, what happened before above deck? Ooh. What happened here? Uh, it looks like a gunshot wound or something. They're like bleeding a lot, but... Oh no, they're holding on to that spear thing. Ah. Hmm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> really? Come on. Okay, how did you two die? Hmm. It likes to be dramatic. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? 
全部供出来，拢是恁害啦！迄、那个害的肯定无过，一些人闻死的啊！伊偷着老百姓。Shell, what shell? One. What do they pick up? Is that the manatee thing? It fired off spikes. So, oh my god. Okay, that's definitely a spike. The uniform is Formosan. You can see by the lines. Okay, so we know that much. Anything else? Any other clues? Any other clues? Oh! Already three people dead. Spikes on them? Oh, one's hand's missing. Ooh, it shot spikes, yeah. Okay, we don't know who you are, but you're wearing that outfit. You are spiked by the beast. Spiked by a terrible beast. Okay, I know that much. Who are you? Bald shirt. Um, first showed up in... Memories on deck. Where did you first show up? Bitter cold. So you were part of the bitter cold crew as well. And then the last one was up here, right? Uh, oh, here, here. Unholy captives. Part one. Wait, you died here in part one? Memories. Perished in unholy captives part one. You perished here. But you're still alive. I guess, right afterwards? Hmm. We'll keep opening up the puzzle box. <laughs> Unholy captives. One, two, three, four dead. Five dead. Five dead. Jeez. I mean, at some point, we're just gonna come into a place where the sh entire ship is just filled with dead bodies. Let's see who you were. So the boats are hooked up. What? Wait, one of the royalty? Oh. What? This is treasure? What happened to his arm? There's the shell chest. Who did the shooting? Oh. What happened? So he's shooting him thinking that he had kidnapped the royalty? The, the, I guess I guess for now we can call him the king and queen, right? Unless... The guy is shooting because they know about the dangers of the shell. Because, no, it can't be them. Are, do the Formosans know 
of? No. Mm. We know he was shot. Shot with a gun by one of the Formosans. Not Huxing Lao. Was it Huxing Lao? No, it wasn't Huxing Lao. Huxing Lao was on the other side of the picture, right? So it's got to be one of these two. One, one of these three. I'm not familiar with enough the names to say which one, but it's it was a Formosan passenger. Unknown passenger. Okay. Real quick, while we have the shaking thing. Okay, he's dead. His arm is missing. From like, it was like degloved from the elbow down. Slip to Palin, thank you for the super chat. I sprinted it. Oh wait, those are nipples. Okay, never mind, we can't show that. Um, the queen is just dead, general. I don't see any wounds. I don't see any wounds. No. Is that blood on the neck? No, that's just the collar. Yeah, those are those are fish nips. We're not gonna look at that. <sighs> we get to finally see what the the king, what happened to him. Hmm. How do we get out though onto the ocean? Oh wait, that's right. They brought the body on board and then they just laid him out. Ooh. Slim? <sighs> There's a fire inside that burned his arm off? What the heck is inside this chest? And then... You've been killing these mermaids. Sirens? I don't know what. Oh, you were long dead. It looks like she was scratching her face. Where was this? Out in the deep ocean? What? <laughs> Cursed treasure, yeah. It looks like he burned his hands by putting it in there. He tried to find something, maybe? Corpse was moved post moved post mode, and we know that one. Who is this? We're going to uh, the first one to board, Formosa. Hun Lan Lin? Lin? And then he was burned? Electrocuted, froze, endless point of shot. So it looks like burned might be the only one close. Formosa, no. It being Sha? No, wait, he said, Miss Lim, are you still there? So, it's gonna be one of these two, right? It being Sha. We'll, we'll pick that one for now. And I guess we get to see what Miss Lim's memory was. <laughs> hmm. Right here. I'll just chill for the smoke to get all, all the way around here. Are you serious? Oh my god. Fine, fine. I'll watch you do your little dance. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Are you happy? Are you happy? I watched. I watched it. Oh my god. <laughs> what a 
here two and then he stuck his hand in there something came out of the hand and against those sirens then what was oh ah I see they were already dead here this one is you, okay. Ah, and the officer was cowering here. What is that though? What happened here? Yeah, he's cowering, but what? Hmm. Two others are present. This is Miss Lim. We know that much now. But we don't quite necessarily know what happened. I don't know how she died. Her, like It looks like, was her neck snapped or something? It doesn't look like she was stabbed or something. Because I don't see any obvious wounds on her. But we'll see. Oh. So here. So that's how she died. What a way to go. Oh my god. But you had the the thing, the the shell? What is that? A pipe or a whistle? A pipe. That's a pipe. <laughs> He's still carried the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's a solid hit through the neck. Oh my god. And then he was struggling over here with you. Made love language. Oh my god. <laughs> Accessible only through another corpse. Unknown steward met an unknown fate. We don't really know what happened here. It says, Oh, Hagen, are you still breathing? Can you row? Nichols, sure. Shoot them for God's sake. Oh, Hagen. Oh, Hagen. Oh, Hagen. Wait, no, he's the one that shot at O'Hagan, right? Yeah, the dead one is the one who shot at O'Hagan. You still breathing? Can you row? Nichols, sir, can you shoot them for God's sake? Huh. Are you still... Is he asking this person? No, he's dead. Long dead. Where's Nichols? Or uh, O'Hagan, where's O'Hagan? Are you O'Hagan? No, you must be O'Hagan because you're dead. Why else would you ask, are you still breathing? Right? Because he says, O'Hagan, you still breathing? Question mark. Can you row? Question mark. The only person here is... The king, the Formosan king. And the steward. Wait, you are, wait, are you? Because the other person's over here, and this guy is not. This guy's not O'Hagan. Right? Are you O'Hagan? Where do you show? Soul appears in three memories. Show on deck map. In the murder. Everyone's a bit of the murder. 
first mate also there because that's where they were escaping and then bear coal not enough information yeah edward nichols we know this guy this Ed Nichols is the one that's counseling him. Cowering. So who is he shouting to when he says O'Hagan? Because, let's see. You are the Formosan king. I'm, he's sitting down, which is why I'm assuming that. And you are... Is he O'Hagan? Because it looks like you would ask, like, hey, are you still breeding? Can you row, right? Because you wouldn't be asking someone on another boat. The guy with the spear in his neck, this one, I guess it kind of looks mostly like what O'Hagan would be, but I guess we'll figure out by going into his body. We'll see more. Bang. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Yeah, that's... Oh my god. And then Nichols sees this happening. And then he cowers. He just hides. Nice shot. And then you see... Oh! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why was he tied up? Why was he tied up? Oh. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Kidnapping? What? Okay, we know you got speared at the very least. Speared by a... Uh, I guess enemy? Unknown? No, beast. No, it's not a beast. It, it has to be an enemy, a foreign enemy. Okay. I'll stop with the handshake. I want to go over here first. Uh, you are... Bang. Just confirmed this one. It bang. Burned to death. Maybe not burned. Electrocuted? Illness froze. Knifed. Suicide? No, it's not these. Strangled, spiked, speared, shot, poisoned, torn apart. What would you... Because mm, burned would, might be the best one. Might be the closest one. He's not alive. He's absolutely dead. Axed? No. Drowned? No. Eaten? Like his arm was eaten? I don't know. I think eaten is directly like a monster eating him. I think it's got to be burned, because that's the only thing that would say. Bang. Burned to death. And then... Give us a weapon. English. We have some Russian here, Mother of God. Hmm. Miss Lim, stay down. And then we can we can go here and, and classify her cause of death as getting clawed by a terrible beast. Wait, so is it a beast? Because we saw... Hmm, what would it be? Would it be clawed by a beast? So if it's a beast, then... Strangled by a beast? Enemy? Mm, 
so the riders of the crabs are considered enemies, but would these be considered beasts? Strangled by a beast? It looked like the claws were on her neck. Which would kind of explain the lack of blood if she was strangled, right? Because her outfit wasn't that bloodied. We'll come back to it, we'll come back to it. You, the one that was stabbed before everyone else did. We'll, we'll go back, we'll go back. Aye, sir. Checked and loaded on myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Be one swabble! Must not fall. I shut it off. This is strange things. Above monsters. They were trying to make it to the canaries? Oh, barely missed. Oh my god. Okay, so we know what happened to you. He spoke Formosan. But he also knows English. Which is why he was able to translate. They say they say strange um Nichols said they say strange things. And then he responds, they're talking about monsters. A translator, yeah, bilingual. One, two, three, four. No, well, one, two, three plus prisoner. One, two, three plus prisoner. Huh. Three days to make it to the Canaries. But they were thinking that they... Hmm... Are you Formosan? I don't think so. I think we will leave you right now as an unknown seaman who got speared by a enemy beast beast. Okay. Keep course due east. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. Back in the stores. I sir. Checked and loaded them himself. The only person that spoke up here, or the only line that they spoke up here, it was this one here at the very bottom. They say, they say strange things about monsters. The chest it must not fall into the ocean. If the monsters come, you must stay down. I shut up. Good, stay quiet. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Orbidin. We've no chance against the Orbidin. The running from the Orbidin. Is it because they found that <sighs> packed in the stores? Chronologically, when did this happen? Calling number chapter four. Number four, chapter four. The falling, the calling. Murder. Murder is when they brought, they found this, and then they brought it back on board. Unknown soul was knifed by Nichols. Huxley La passenger shot with the gun by an unknown attacker. He was framed for that murder. Ah. Uh, And then now it's the calling. Unknown seaman speared by a terrible beast. I think we should be able to figure out who this person is. So he has four memories. So he dies here in the calling. We saw him in the murder. Let's go. Okay, let's go check him out. Let's go see if we can figure out who that, that man is. They show up in enough memories. I think we should have enough. 
calling. How many people died? Seven? Four, five, six. Huh. Two missing. Wait a minute. Then if we go to you again. Chapter nine. No, this is way too. Move quick. The last boat. No, this is another set of boats then. Okay. No, completely different set of boats. Because we saw a memory where... Well, let's go to... I think it'll be easier to search for them in the picture. Picture? Formosan? You. Nine memories. I want to see where you show up. Uh, out in the oceans, this is where you all died. But before you went out in the ocean, you were... Where? Murder part three. Murder part three, downstairs in the gun deck on uh, outside first mate's room. Okay. Let's go there. We we'll go downstairs to the gun deck. And then over to the first mates. Outside. I just want to double check on this one because I feel like we should have enough information to know why they went. Oh, hey, Magnum. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Magnation. Ooh. Hey, man, I hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome. All right. Here we go. Huh. Where is the other boat? The other boat's over here, and they're already getting ready to leave. This steward is here. Is the chest here? <gasps> okay, so the chest is here, which means they're trying to get away with the chest. So that's why his hands are in the back like that. He was tied up already. Kidnapped. You are? Unknown soul, but an unknown fate. Full beard, middle part. <sighs> okay, who are you? The one with the gun. Nichols? Wait, what? Oh, you're escaping in. Okay, so you're kidnapping Miss Lim and you're firing off you. You're a sailor who's trying to prevent them from escaping with the shot by Nichols. We don't know who he was. But I think. Hmm. Was he trying to stop them from stealing the chest or was he just trying to stop them from kidnapping? In general. So we know Nichols shot you. And you're here watching. A spear by an enemy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's start from the very back. Okay, so this is the body of Wait, we already have the we already know this one. You, Lars, okay, and you, unknown, unknown fate, what's he doing on the ground though, was he a sailor that was attacked by Nichols and they, as they tried to escape, 
Uy. Lady in the dress. We have to go to Bitter Cold. Bitter Cold. Where's Bitter Cold? Bitter Cold. All the way down three floors. Bitter Cold. Bitter Cold. Bitter Cold. Okay, so we're down one. Down two flights of stairs. Down th th three flights of stairs. Through here. Uh, was it here? Ooh, not it, but um, oi, <laughs> I could go for a drink right now. Okay, uh, chapter bitter cold. Oh, not that one, bitter cold, chapter bitter cold. Where was this one? Okay. Uh, oh wait, I went down too far. Orlop deck, Orlop deck. Up. Up. Around, and then all the way down over here to the left side, Orlop deck. This is where Bitter Cold is. Okay. There's a sleeping man with a tattoo there it is and then you are 37 37 37 crew 37 crew 37 timothy budiment top man from scotland so timothy budiment timothy budiment Uh, murder, and it was in the the escape portion, right? So murder, and then you, Timothy, Timothy, thirty seven, thirty seven. Oh, oh, three more. So Timothy was right. Lim was not right too. That one was. Oh, these are more freebies. <laughs> Burned to death was accurate. Interesting. One, two, three. We're about twenty percent. Twenty percent of the way done. Oh, I just realized. This portion is probably hidden away because this is the. Chapter for the bargain, which we won't get unless we fill up the rest of the book first. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's head back to the beginning. The bargain. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. The bargain happened. Before the escape. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Loose cargo? We still have not unlocked loose cargo chapter. We know about the calling. Unholy captive soldiers of the sea and the doom. We know everything except for loose cargo. So... Why don't we go open up Loose Cargo chapter? And then after we open up all the parts of Loose Cargo, I think we'll go and call it, because I'm actually really, really tired. <laughs> I am... How long have we been going? Almost five hours. Oh my god. I'm going to go back and then let it just kind of roll around in my head for a bit. Only accessible through... Ah, there you go. Uh, is it Miss Lim? Or is it... Where is it? Ca 
calling? Four of six. Okay, we know this part. And this is where it ends, so... Ah, an ore all the way out here. Okay. Hmm. Okay, where do we go next? Where do we go next? I'm actually not sure where we go next. Because all that happened outside, far off in the sea, so... Uh, do we go back? back into one of the previous bodies? Chapter 5. Okay, and now this is where they're already dead, and that's already... <gasps> Wait a minute, what? Oh! Okay, wait, hold up. Let's go mark this one guy as dead, too. This unknown soul, unknown fate, speared. Wait, spiked. Spiked by a terrible beast. Do we know anything else? First memory is in... It's, it's all coming back here to the bitter cold. Hmm. Goat's still alive. Pigs are still alive. An unknown seaman. Oh wait. Fell to the fell down the stairs to his death. Maybe this one isn't right then. If it's not fell down the stairs, maybe it was crushed by the beast. Because we know... Mm, this, we know this is how he perished. Would crush... Because if it didn't correct it, if it didn't say that it was right, then the fell one, this one must have been wrong. So it, maybe it must have been crushed? We'll try this. We'll see if it got um, crushed. Unknown spell was spiked by a travel beast. I feel like we have enough... No, only two memories. We're not, I'm thinking about a different bald man. You. Twelve memories. How am I blinking out on this guy if he shows up in twelve memories? What? Arnabed, hello. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hello, so you would like to see a plane over. I didn't help you enjoy. Also, my husband sounds like you sound like Kevin Conroy. Batman from the... <laughs> No, I don't think so. That's a oh, that's a very nice compliment, but I don't think, I don't think it's. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I wish I am like nowhere. I don't think I'm close. <laughs> Shouldn't be as Batman. Ah, I could not. I could not. Hmm. I think the only place we really haven't explored is way, way downstairs in the, um, uh, what do, what do they call it again? I'm not familiar with all these, uh, boat terminology. The ship. The very bottom in the cargo hold. I think that's the only place we haven't really explored at the moment. Sounds like something Batman would say. Nah, Batman would just say I'm Batman. <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can figure out what's down there in the cargo hole. And then maybe they'll open up the pieces to the last final chapter. No, the store looks like it's locked. I do want to come back to the foot though. That foot is pretty valuable. I think there's a lot of information over there by the foot. Hmm. We haven't opened the rest of these rooms, have we? Oh, let's find out. Ooh. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. Looks like, okay, we can say enough that oh, we don't know the name. We'll wait for the memory to finish. That's a big gun. Oh my god, look at that. And then you can see the hand with the spear. Anything else happening here? Oh, who are you? Oh, the tattoo guy. You are here too? to go that last shot killed it man ooh <laughs> very pleased to sound very pleased y'all agree with me sound like Batman oh my god <laughs> hideous monster perished simultaneously with the brave but unfortunate soul. Don't know the name yet, but we know that they were speared. Oh, no. Speared. By one of the enemy. Not the crab itself, but speared by the enemy. <laughs> what amazing last words. Is that all? And then he fires. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, and then the doors here are closed, but I want to know what's this tattoo guy doing here? Go down in a chat. Yeah, was he speared? Yeah, look, you can see the spear right there, and the spear goes all the way up, and you can see the hand right there, the black hand outline, um, and the other arm, you see that? So there, uh, this enemy is lifting this spear with both hands over there and then driving it down into his, it looks like his lungs, like missed his heart. The crab has a grip on his shoulder and his forearm, or his, uh, looks like biceps, like upper arm right there. But it looks like the thing that killed him was this spear that the enemy right now is holding. You see those two arms right there. So yeah, most likely it's going to be... Uh, the, yeah, I see the, the spear. And then the rest of the crew are above here, like, the sword over there. And then also stabbing with the spear. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going a bit. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Ooh. Man. They didn't even bother to eat it. Oh look, there's one of the spears right down there with the spikes on the end of it. Jeez. And they're huge. Okay, let's check out these two doors which we didn't get to see behind. Oh, the rum. What's this one? Oh. We never got to take a peek in here, did we? Doesn't look like there's anything much of importance here. <gasps> no, don't tell me there's a body inside the cask. The barrel? No. Is he inside? Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh my gosh, that's unfortunate. Anything else? Ah. 
Oh my god. I... Wait, no. That's gotta be a second person, right? Because they would have noticed the body. I think this is a second unfortunate soul. I think the person is in here. I think someone tried to stow away and died inside the barrel. And then this other person just happened to be in the wrong place, wrong time. When... The cargo fell down. <gasps> it is at the very beginning. Cargo on the deck. Corpses move mood post mortem. Po be be be. The corpses move post mortem. Unidentified. Oh, it is a stowaway. Unidentified stowaway, expecting free passage in Fendom, was instead crushed by fall, crushed inside a falling barrel. Oh man, that's. Oof. And then the next person would be you. Ah, what a way to go. Crushed inside, yeah, maybe there was some heavy. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know what could have been inside there. Usually when you get barrels like this, it's like either water, um, like grog mixtures, or like food, like salted pork. Oh, do you need help? Here, let me, I'll help you. <laughs> the mysterious spirit smoke needed the door to be opened before it could go. Okay, and then... Before the ship even sailed. Say anything? How, how are we supposed to know this one? Huh. They were featured in the picture though, so even before? Oh man. Oh, and the story was must have been here. Others were present. I don't know enough about them to know their name. They died so early on. They were crushed by cargo. Oh. Oh, the door's open. Alright. Let us go back. I think now we have seen every single chapter in... Yeah, loose cargo, two people died. Stowaway counts as one of them. Now that we know all of the chapters, we should be able to figure out the rest of them. Huh? Uh-oh. How long do we have until we... Wait, is it timed now? Should we not have gone... Ah. Uh... It's not timed? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it was just like a congrats, you've now finished. You've seen all that there is to see. Okay, okay. Alright. Chat, it has been now 5 hours and 10 minutes. I... You take a quick I need to take a break. <sighs> this is like really okay. This is high up there right now. Well, it's the only one up there, but like of all the ocean slash boat games that we can play this week. I will probably come back to this one on Saturday. Depending on how the other two go. <laughs> 
depending on how the other two go. Wait, how many people have we identified? How many people have we identified? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So about what? Twenty percent? Twenty-five? Twenty-five percent? No, twenty percent. Closer to twenty percent, because it's a total of sixty people. Maybe, maybe, or maybe not counting these ones, but we'll see. All right. Okay, we're gonna go figure out the rest of these, but for now, I think we had a good chance at taking a look at every single one, or like all the chapters. So we have a pretty good foundation. Kind of figure it out. They don't really have too much ties, like, like this, they're like connecting each other. Like there are the same people that travel through these, but these like events are, seem to be pretty separate. It's just the people that were interested because there are people that kind of pass through these stories of the ship. But chat for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. Thank you all for stopping by. Wait, hold up. Can I change this to something else? Oh. <gasps> No way! Ooh. Oh, these are so cool! What? I didn't know you could do- Oh my god! No, that's so cool! We could try it, we could try it. We can try the other ones. Ah, that's so cool! Wait, what are the rest of them? Uh, output smooth? Sharp? Sharp shrink too? Whoa! That's so small. Sharp. Oh, no, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Controls view. Uh, look sensitivity perfect. <laughs> what is this? Nearly motionless. Struggle just low. Slow slide of perfect. Perfect fast. Reasonably fast. Unreasonably fast. Parody of control. <laughs> Try LCD. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't know why, but this is kind of hot. I like this. Oh my god, the aesthetics? Yo. Oh. Oh my. Oh my god, that looks really cool. <gasps> that looks really cool. Look at that. Wow. I didn't know you can do that. Okay, we, we'll try LCD next time. Uh, invert the like, volume. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, chat. I will say parody of control. Okay, we'll try that one. <laughs> we'll just try it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fast. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of like. Um, if, you, if anyone's ever played Battlefield, um, you can go ahead and hop into the tank and then set the tank mouse sensitivity to like seven, like 700, 800% higher than like regular infantry soldier sensitivity. And then you can spin around the top turret on your tank ridiculously fast. So it looks like there's a mushroom on top of the tank. And, and then just. <laughs> All right, Chad. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm very tired. I also have a uh, morning zatsu coming up tomorrow. So I'll see you all then. Thank you for stopping by, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow. Koyasumi, everybody. Koyasumi. Mike Macy, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to do my best to try and, like, juggle these sound or that not sound juggle the stories in my head and then if we come back to it uh, either Saturday or next week we'll do like a brief refresher and go through all the stories real quick and then afterwards we'll try our hand at solving the identities of everybody else Arnulfo Mendez thank you for the super chat thank you thank you all right let me go ahead and see if I can find one of the boys who are currently streaming so I can send you off over their way. Although I have a suspicion that I might be the last one streaming at this time. Uh, 
Oh, it looks like Axel is currently playing some Apex. I'll send you over there his way. Thank you all for stopping by. I had a wonderful time. It was really great. Uh, we'll send you over to Axel's channel so I can check him out playing some Apex. And um, yeah, I think I've already said everything I wanted to say. So, Kuyasumi.